Welcome everybody I think to to Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, it's this week. Perfect. Uh, well, last week. Uh, actually, yes, Evander, would you like to fill us in? What uh, happened last week? Never chooses me. Um, <laughs> well, we went to uh, an inn to to relax here, and. Uh, uh, we've been trying to make friends with some of the uh, this uh, group of elves in the corner of the restaurant. And uh, when people from our party approached them, they got magically uh, enchanted by a, a booby trap that they set in the restaurant or the inn. Uh, Apparently, that's a crime. I like to according think so. to Moon or <laughs> not Moon, but <laughs> I'd like to think so. And. Uh, it's a crime that he didn't set it up. Basically, they, uh, <laughs> I don't know, they didn't like us, they insulted us. That pissed me off, and uh, I, I opened fire on them. <laughs> uh, for lack of Shots better. fired! No, no, you said they, they attacked you first because he moved a chair and you tripped, you tripped him. And you counted that as an assault. I, yeah, that was the second assault. Oh, oh second yeah. assault. First assault was <laughs> a spell. Yeah. It's the non-consensual ah, I love it. barrier. The, the AOE spell. Right. And it was a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so they already started the fight. <laughs> Very well. So I opened with the Agonizer Scorcher and they counterspelled it, so nothing happened. Uh, what's it? And, uh, I guess, uh, Lar- Largadon? He, she, he dominated Riven and, uh, she shot me twice with her crossbow. Yes, she did. <laughs> uh, so I took half, I took 50% of damage from that, and, uh, I guess the, uh, the... Amir, us, us, Amir tried, uh, to not kill him, but put him unconscious. Right. And that failed. You did lose one of your vials. I think it was the only vial you had that sleeping stuff. Uh, yeah, ingest it, yeah. yeah. Sleep he did not ingest it. He, like, batted it away with his face. Yeah. Of One of the elves grappled the vendor. A vendor struggled a lot, and he missed his vial of sleeping. And you try to do something else, also. Try to, like, knock me out or something. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to knock you out. Let's just gloss over what the actually happened. Things went bad very quickly. Uh, freaking Amir tried to kill me. Um, and then, uh, I guess, uh, the, the dream So did, so did, what's her name, though, right? Yeah, Riven. Riven. Because oh, she was dominated. She dominated, yeah. I went to get help. So I focused on my ADD. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what else happened? <laughs> yeah. the, the dream week took its toll on me. I, I fell down, unable to move. And, uh, I think that was the end of the fight. Uh, they started taking my stuff because they wanted something in exchange for the trouble I caused them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. uh, Ben Jet came downstairs, uh, partially naked, holding a sword, and he intimidated them into giving back um, my spell, rope trick, uh, from the spell. Book. They were kind of jerks about it, though. Yeah, they, they they like threw it up into the air and directed yeah. it towards the fire. I saved one page; the other page got lightly burned. I don't know. We're um, kind of the person that started the fight and then we couldn't finish it. <laughs> same, we're like, same we're like oh no, they started it. Same yeah. team. <laughs> Officer. <laughs> uh, it was self defense from out of town. We were, yeah, we, <laughs> we were defending. I was defending myself. I'm on leave. <laughs> it didn't start that way though, huh? <laughs> and then you're like, you're going to pay. Yep. Please help me. <laughs> no, he was, that's what I loved is you were super like, Every time something bad happened, you're like, yeah, and what else? Like, he was all had attitude about it. Yeah. I was like, where'd you go, man? And, and Benji, or Ben kept giving us outs. He's like, oh, yeah. Okay, the battle Out stops. Out. He's like, all attacked. Yeah. I love it. Martha was like, oh, let's figure out. I think we need to hire new people. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you start leaving? You no, start. I, I went to give in and I'm like, oh, You guys are way leave. better yeah. at <laughs> running pastry stands than you are at picking fights. <laughs> I, I don't think, well, just because we haven't role no, played okay. that yet. I just want to point out Amir's fight, we won. We dominated, actually. Yeah. In his head. We lost a few charisma points. <laughs> <clears throat> Lines changed now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, so when last uh, we left our heroes, 
That nice. was a horrible recap. Man. The <laughs> that was uh, I think that <laughs> covered it. I think got, that got all the points. Uh, yeah, that, it did. That we needed to know where we're picking up. We left off. So, um, we uh, decided to go to another tavern, and there were uh, three others. Well, we were we were in the lobby of the Manor of Chance. Oh, you're heading over to the, the Manor of Chance. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, so you have your uh, your wagons. There is a place to. Um, it's almost like a hitching post outside okay. for horses, uh, but there are a couple of uh, carriages that are pulled up in that section. So it is. It looks like a place where you could conceivably leave your wagon. However, it is not going to be under guard. Per se. We're not in the fancy part of town anymore, boys. So the manner of chance is mm-hmm. uh, indeed it's further in, and as you're traveling uh, through the evening, the city is well lit. People are moving about. Uh, again, uh, the weather is very pleasant, and the uh, you uh, get to a portion of where the road is is. Um, it crosses a, a, a great stone bridge that goes over a river that is going through the city. Um, shortly after passing that, there are there are wagon stalls and uh, different shops that are set up along the sides of the main thoroughfare. And the uh, when you are asking for directions, people keep pointing you off further into the city. And you see the residential district is taking up most of the northern side of the city. Um, and with that in mind, you get to where you, you deem to be about the center of everything. Uh, you see a, a, a massive, looks like it is a, like a man-made uh, lake in the center of the city where it is kind of squared off on the edges and the river flows in from the north and then continues out from the south where there is a a dam and a levee set up to contain the water in the middle. Um, people are along the side and they're fishing in the center. And, um, fishing at night? Yeah. I'm not fishing. Okay. And uh, there so are... Rednecks did that. <laughs> do, they have, do they have flashlights too? Because I heard that's a thing. There are not flashlights. There are... Um, like the light spell? There are the water. <laughs> it looks like there are floating platforms in the middle of the lake where there are uh, like lanterns set up, braziers of fire that are going off in the middle, and um, there are people who are out just on these like on these different platforms, and again they're they're fishing or um, there might be drinking going on in the center. It's hard to tell from this far away. But the, the road that leads around where the lake is in the center you, um, it, it is where it's heading towards uh, the Manor of Chance. Okay. So <clears throat> on the way there, that was all of the things that you saw on the way there. Does, it, does the city look like it opens up? Uh, the center is extremely open around yeah. the lake. It, it has, the houses have so, backed up and everything. So there are, and it's really nice because there's trees that are growing spontaneously and it looks like they're... Uh, curated and manicured, um, and there are uh, street posts where the lanterns are kept every night, and people are going around and still lighting some of them. So it's like London is where the other tavern was as far as architecture, and then we go into this other open area. Uh, no, the houses are all still pretty close together. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, because they, they took their amount of space that they have for the entire city, walled it in, and then they have grown to a size where they are. Uh, so it's, it's max capacity? It's probably it's around its max okay. capacity, but there's still some room for space so it doesn't feel crowded and dirty. About how many people live? What's the population of Long Street? Uh, you can ask someone Okay. question. Oh. Um, well, and, and is this a, is a wealthier city? It sounds wealthy. Like it does know. appear to be well to do. Yeah. See what happens when you let people live free. No, but there, but there's <laughs> there's ghettos though, Where, like okay. in every city. Was that where we came from, or oh, do we see? Fancy oh, there's like fancy. Oh, park. okay. Do we see the? We're like in Hyde Park. <laughs> uh, as you or as we're walking through, or no? Across the streets, um, uh, I mean, slums. you haven't really split off. 
So you're really only seeing the main road oh, from, with everyone else. Tourist. Yeah. So it looks really nice and very clean and very <coughs> very organized. You know who else is clean? Benjin. Benjin is extremely clean. Because he's taken two bats. He's two yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yes. A heated bath at that. Oh, and I did want to say and mention that when you were up there, normally if you want a heated bath, you have to boil the water and then bring it in one bucket at a time. Yeah. But it looks like this water was pumped into the room. Oh, you mentioned oh, that. Oh, you did mention that. Yeah. And it has that like, place, guys. It has like, uh... It had some type of pipe system going yeah. into the bath, and then the it addition. drained out after. Um, but the water appears to have been pumped in already hot. Yeah, that is awesome. Now we're here. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> and you show up to the manner of chance. The evening uh, is fully underway as you're getting closer. I mean, the sounds of the streets and everything, they... Uh, have kind of a, a, a dull uh, roar to them as you're just here overhearing different conversations and have different animals wandering through the streets. There are chickens. What that, time is it? Um, it's uh, probably seven or eight. Oh, that's mm -hmm. it's like an early shower yeah. for me. For really bad. <laughs> I mean, after a whole day of traveling, like though, hour, yeah. wash the road off. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. So <laughs> um, the that that general uh, din that you're hearing. Uh, is nothing compared to the ruckus that is coming from inside the Manor of Chance. And from the moment that you see that it is in sight, you can tell this is definitely what everyone was talking about. On the outside, there is a, um, a some type of lettering that goes up the side of it, and every now and again, it magically illuminates and then flashes across the front of the building. And uh, it, it has uh, various... Uh, uh, how to describe this? So the scene on the front is constantly changing. It's uh, oh, nice. it's it looks like patrons inside somehow are being uh, captured, and then a, a presentation magically is illuminated on the outside wall at, at random. So um, I hope they consented to that. <laughs> so you can't illegally you, use You get the feeling that for... there is probably no legal repercussions for them. Uh, I bet there are all these like druids and natives that are like, they've stolen my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Take pictures. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen a druid since you got to town, yeah. curiously enough. I um, don't think they like town, though. <laughs> no. So is it is it uh, this place is like a one story, two story? Oh, how, how it is a multi story block? building. How much um, of the city block does it take up? Walking up to the front, it's probably. Is there like a silence spell permanently on the outside? So it no, just you can eerily quiet, but then you open the door. And extremely it's like, loud as you're getting close to it. There's a lot of people who are coming in and out of the building. There are. Uh, um, it looks like uh, some type of private guard that are around the exterior and. Um, you would notice this being your all of your background, uh, just kind of a general awareness of where the guards are. Um, there are pe ones on the roof, there are some that are patrolling the outside grounds, and then there are some that are checking people as they are entering. The they look heavily chains. guarded? Or heavily, uh, uh, so they don't, they don't have, uh, some of them are wearing chain mail. Uh, the, mo the majority of it is like a chain shirt with a leather uh, jerkin underneath it. And it looks like it's a comfortable wear because they're short sleeves and their tunic, it's all very well cut so that it, it looks like it would be light for someone to wear and walk around in. Um, and they all have some type of weaponry, whether it be maces or swords or uh, what, what, any manner of that. You could tell at least one on the roof has bow and arrow. So, jeez, there's guys on the roof? Uh, yes, it, it <coughs> looks like maybe a three-story building. You, it's it's hard to tell, but the architecture of all of it um, has winding uh, columns that go up the side, and uh, the, the it, it looks like someone spent a great deal of money into the construction and making sure that the outside edifice is very well crafted and carved. This is specific to the manner of chance. It is specific to the manner of chance. Okay. The rest of the buildings are built more for utility and location. So yeah. 
the homes and the shops that are near each other, they have been placed deliberately and, take, and, are, and are built to take up all of the available space that there is for them. Is there any uh, windows on the... There are floors? windows on the first and second, and the reason why you think that there's a third floor is just because there are uh, only like one or two windows on that floor. Mm. The majority of them just closed off. Penthouse. <laughs> so Martha would say, before we head in, there are a bunch of guards here. Let's yeah. not start yeah. in trouble. <laughs> so, <laughs> the vineyard's like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> this is so, a broad message. Broad yeah. Message. It, we, uh, as we approach, is, are there guards in front of the door as well? There are, yes. Are there uh, patrons? There are people walking in, yes. I would like to ask someone that's walking in, just a random, it doesn't even matter. Um, if, if this place is, uh, like, what's your impression of this place, or have they been here before? Sure, yeah, so, uh, you're, you're pulling the wagons up, hitching the horses, um, tying the, I mean, untying the horses. Yeah, after that, Get them up on the post and everything, and people are walking by, um, and you just call one of them down and, uh, it's a, a man with a woman uh, in his arm, and they're both dressed in fine clothing. Um, and uh, they they see that you have like still the dirt of the road still on your clothes, and uh, you, you look like you have been traveling for a while. <laughs> they they uh, they they go, oh. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, what, uh, how could I help you? Uh, <coughs> Uh, what is your impression of this, uh... Of the manor? Casino manor. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, if, uh, if I'm sure anyone here could have a good time. It's, it's just a, a fancy and fabulous establishment. Uh, we go at least once every, uh, every ten day, if we can afford it, with our uh, earnings, of course. Of course. Are there many uh, lesser um, or economically challenged individuals that <laughs> are uh, taking this place? I can only uh, tell you that if you go in, you better have your pocketbook handy, or you, <laughs> if you are. Uh, I, I, I have I've been able to bring is he up. Human? Uh, he uh, is human, yeah. They're both uh, human and they're walking. Older? Uh, he is probably in his 60s. And she's 20 something. And she's in her 20s. I knew it. Yes. So I look to, I look to her. He's also the President of the United States. I look to her and I <laughs> give her a wink and then I look to the old man and I'm like, she's out of your league, sir. But And then I tip my uh, cowboy uh, hat. Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, well, uh, shall we as a <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 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 real quick. Where, oh, yes. Where do I get one of those? Uh, the building itself Ooh. is probably a little bit out of <laughs> your pay grade. Uh, you know, it probably took uh, 20 winters to completely get the entire thing set up, so I assume if you start saving now, then by the time you're an old man, maybe you as an elf, you'll be able to avoid uh, an edifice such as this. Okay, he, he, I think he's talking about. He yeah, yeah, went over his head. <laughs> sure, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening to you. Uh, make sure that you uh, you see me at the dice throw tables. It'll be a good time. I'll, I'll, I'll treat you to uh, a game. <clears throat> okay. And what was your name? Uh, G- G- Gurst. Okay. Gurst. Oh, Gerst. Okay. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Do you have a bad stutter or lisp? Or... No, it's... Uh, what... A good, a good, a good evening. Okay. And he turns yeah. in and walks okay. off. It's Groundhog Day. Oh no. <laughs> what? What is? What, what was that? <laughs> so. So apparently this place is for like uppity people that we're not gonna fit in. Well, he will. I, I wonder mm-hmm. why. It's a no, the only people challenge. that you did flag down were the <laughs> closest people to you. There might be people already inside who are in. So I just happen to choose the uh, yeah. pompous guy. Yeah. I mean, you could roll a perception check. Sure. We should probably go change them. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> oh wait, we're not with her. Nineteen more. Oh. Nineteen. Okay, yeah. So looking around, I mean, he was one of the patrons who were walking in, and some of the people were walking out. Uh, what about multiracial? Or is uh, it just primarily humans that we see walking? In? There are humans, and there are halflings, and uh, there is there is one dwarf who just walks inside. Like, he's the only dwarf really in the area who you've seen. Oh. And he walks inside. Can you Does he have the, uh, uh, oh, can, we, I want can I, I, can I see with the 19 if we have to, yeah. Uh, he was dressed in kind of flowy, like, robes. That would cover everything that okay. you wouldn't get to see. So I point out So he, had, he just walked yeah. inside. That's a... Yeah. In, uh, the, you do see just to the south of where the manor is facing, kind of the main thoroughfare, uh, there is a section that uh, appears to have these kind of rolling mounds in the area, and that it is possible that that is the dwarven section of the city. You don't see any. So it sort of it sort of looks like the Shire. Uh, yes, minus the grass. There are trees that are going through it all, but it looks like there's there's nothing lit. First of all, there's no lanterns or anything in that section of the city, um, so that sticks out to you. Um, but it, you also don't really see any movement going on. Yeah, they have dark vision. Was this they... so the uh, <laughs> just to get my bearings the um, the gristle bar mine? Yes. Uh, that's where these. The, all the dwarves of the same clan that are in this area, that's where they stay. Uh, that is where their mine is, and people, okay. not, not, no one's really sure if they're... Because there are above-ground settlements in the city for the dwarves, uh -huh. uh, but the mine itself is the reason why nobody actually knows how big the Gristlebar uh, clan is. And the, uh, the Atarman Blades, those are, that's not the clan name, that's just their... Blacksmith that is a, name? That is a, 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 uh, a craft skill, basically. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the ring I have, right? Mm -hmm. yep. oh, I'm sure I put that away. <laughs> uh, do you say that in game? Yes. Uh, I just, I turn the face inward. It just looks like a steel band on the outside. <laughs> there you go. So, standing out, you hear the sounds of merriment. And yeah, let's go get a room. Squeals of delight coming from inside. Um, Martha's going to uh, disguise into a better looking clothes, at least if they did. <laughs> uh, so, um, Riven. Um, is that like instant? Or you got to wait for it? Oh, okay. uh, Riven is uh, not really. Uh, she's she's in an uncharacteristically uh, melancholy mood and uh, says that she just wants to go find a room and is going to retire for the evening. Hallelujah. Oh, we are getting somewhere, Martha. Yeah. Yeah. That thing messed her up, huh? That yeah. session. She said she was messed up. She put the group. Uh, where's the inventor right now? No, no, where's the key? 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 The key? Yeah. The, where the, yeah. key yeah. the, the innkeeper. Oh, so the. There's not really. So there's the front entrance, and that is where there are some guards who are talking to people as they're walking inside. Uh -huh. uh, you don't see any people really from so the establishment on the outside wandering or mingling. Oh, I'll oh, follow your lead. <laughs> you, uh, oh, oh, oh. Evinder, how about, uh, how about you take the lead and get us some rooms and paying for us? Oh, yeah, you should You're the, the reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're the reason we, uh, uh -huh. we aren't sitting on our backs right now. I was, I was going okay. to say, say I mean, that's a simple fair, <laughs> fair trade, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess so. Perfect. Does everybody want their own room? Or, uh, oh, well, of course, I'd like yes, the best yes, room yes. in the house. But. All right. Yes, I'm going gonna, gonna to walk inside and go to the front desk. <laughs> You always have one room on the third floor. So, why should we go shit? This is me. That's a hook. He will pay you. You button up the. I was going to tell him. The wagon on the outside as best you can. You you make like you, you try to make it so that it looks like it's closed off and that people can't really go inside. But well, there's nothing in there, right? There's your some uh, some of your pastry supplies. There's like smithing yeah, flour flowers. stuff there. One of them has yeah, smithing the tools. I, mean, I would want to take my good cooking utensils and stuff upstairs. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. yeah they're part of your bag. Go back. 
Well, like, they, like they're, I'm sure they're in like their own bag. Right. Yeah. Like how like a real man would have a tool case or a toolbox. <laughs> oh, I have oh, awesome bands. <laughs> <laughs> right. It has like uh, assorted knives. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. By, for what their purpose is. Like oyster. this one is your oyster knife. This yeah. One, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. So <laughs> walking in, you have your your gear uh, and. The guards who are uh, sitting there, they, I mean, uh, they're standing there and actively talking to people as they walk up as you approach it. Oh, uh, hello! Uh, 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 yes. Um, you are aware for our hotel vendor. How much for your, one of your finest rooms for the night? Oh, well, one of our finest rooms? Well, I mean, uh, obviously you'll have to talk to uh, oh, she. Uh, <laughs> Hannah inside. She'll be able to make any arrangements that you need if you're planning on staying at the manor. Uh, however, the... Uh, it just, uh, it looks like you're not from around here, so... No, uh, you're not. <laughs> well, I do have an eye for it. Um, I will say, uh, things to keep in mind, try not to get too intoxicated. Try not to, uh, start any fights that you can't finish. And, uh, we should be able to... That's really good advice. Uh, re, uh, <laughs> yeah. We're, I mean, we, we normally keep the peace around here, so if you need any assistance while you're inside, you can just holler for one of the blades, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be there to help. Uh, the, Sounds good. The Tarwin blades? I thought oh, they blacksmiths. Uh, no, the, the Tarwin blades, their district is more north, uh, but, uh, no, the, the higher hands uh, sell swords. <laughs> hey, can you tell me who lives over there in the hills? Oh, uh, yes, so that's where the, uh, the Dwarven folk live. Hey, what, what, uh, clan name is it there? Uh, they go by the... Gris... Gris... The Grizzlebars? It's like the, the, the Grizzlies or something Grizzly, like that. Grizzly Bears. Mm-hmm. The Grizzly Bears. That sounds right. <laughs> is the other guy next to him, is he in the conversation? Uh, no, he's he talking to so other patrons who are going in. Um, and there are one or two more, and they look like they're just keeping an eye out for anybody who might be nefarious. Hannah, you said she's the proprietor of the place. Uh, well, Hannah makes the arrangements as far as, uh, getting lodging. a room and lodging, yes. Very well. Let's go talk to her. Okay. All right, thank you. We're going to go inside, then. No, very well. Enjoy your stay at the manor. All right, so we'll call you if we need anything. <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> we'll try not to need anything. <laughs> we'll try not to need anything. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, so... The oh, guards yes. particularly appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as you uh, walk through the front doors, uh, you see just the entire uh, ground floor of this area. It's vaulted ceilings. Uh, there are people everywhere. And the, the scene is kind of organized chaos. There are all these different tables that are set around, uh, and people are seated at them, and they're, they're cheering and laughing, and... Uh, there are uh, um, serving men and serving women who are going around bringing drinks and food to people at the tables, and uh, there are there there is a caged area off in the back where there is money exchanging going on, and uh, the uh, what were you wrong? Elves. Uh, there, there any elves? are elves. no elves that you can see among the crowd. <clears throat> I rolled the twenty-two. Twenty-two four total. Yeah, four error. You're, like I know, right? Like you're just like very, like very, like okay. I just want to know if there's any elves in the area, and you're looking, right. and you're looking. There are one or two um, people who are seated at uh, a table on the far side of of this front area, um, who look like they might have some type of elven heritage, but uh, one of them has. Uh-huh has a like a three day growth right, of a beard right, right. but he's got pointed ears. He looks like But he they're like clipped. No 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 there are they're they're elven ears. Just not but as big. He yeah not as there big. There are many, many spikes. <laughs> <laughs> they're seated at a table where uh, it's a it's a really long table and um, it looks like there's some type of glass covering to the top of it and people are, are watching what's going Something on. Like a crap table but You'll need to get closer to really see, but it, it's completely covered from the top, and people are like laughing and cheering, and, uh, and, and um, there is a little display on the on the back where there's a, a, a drawing board where people are writing down uh, different names of things on there, and then divvying out money like that. So uh, there is a front desk area 
where you see a, uh, probably ten or so uh, servants or people who are here working. Um, they are all wearing kind of a matching uh, <clears throat> sash that is across them uh, with, that has a, a red and a gold uh, embroidering on it. And I think that is what they use to identify the people who are work here. At this I remember the sash. <laughs> you remember the gold and red sash. Yeah. So, uh, your Change characters it, are walking up to the front. Nice. Is that right? You're going yes. over to the yes. yes. little wheel and a vendor to try to get over uh, So, I said, Hannah, how much, you know, how much did one of your finest rooms for one night? Well, we have, uh, a, we have a lot of different arrangements. How many rooms are you looking for? Uh, five rooms. Five rooms, okay. Well, uh, so our finest room is the penthouse suite, uh -huh. and uh, that would be that would comfortably have up to ten people in the room, uh, with of course their own rooms within the room. Uh, that one runs at seventy-five gold pieces a night. Um, for our, uh, if you want an individual room with bed and. Uh, a, a water basin and everything that you need to get uh, through the night to put your belongings down. Uh, those run at three gold an evening per room. You guys want the penthouse suite or you guys want individual rooms? Uh, I don't know. He did cause a lot of issues last week. I'll ask her, uh, do you guys have any uh, shows? <laughs> oh, yes. So uh, on the second floor, we do have uh, one act that is going to be happening uh, here in the next 30 minutes or so, and uh, it is one of our blade dancers. So uh, she will be putting on a performance of uh, daring and dangerous feats, and uh, it's something to see, definitely. That's uh, of course here in the next 30 minutes. Uh, we also have another uh, show later on in the evening, and that is when the priestess of Sune comes after she has had her ceremony at the temple and uh, she does put on a demonstration of uh, some of the powers that uh, Sune offers and uh, is going to... So it's like a magic show. Provide, uh, yes, it is, it's, it's magical entertainment, but also um, for those who are, have any physical ailments or needing, uh, then she does spend some time towards the end of it and uh, she will uh, treat simple things like diseases and... Uh, uh, things of that nature. So. Yeah, we should. Stay yeah. Probably. What's her name? Yeah, we should. Uh, Galora. Galora. When, when Galora. Galora? Yes. When's, how do you spell that? Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Galora. G. Laura. Yeah. Just G. Laura. <laughs> yeah. O. Not A. O. <laughs> Galora? Yeah. Same Galora. I'm pretty sure it's Galora. <laughs> Go on, go on. <laughs> you said something that they do cheer. <laughs> no, you're right. Probably not. <clears throat> All right. So and uh, what's and how long? Whichever you choose. We're only going to be here one night. All right. We'll just get the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What? How long are the shows? Uh, each show, uh, if you are able to attend the entire thing, lasts about an hour. Oh. We'll get five individual rooms, please. <laughs> I mean, very well. Oh yeah, we do need five. I forgot. Uh, Okay, and so she collects the 15, 15 gold? Yeah. <clears throat> You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if I, I'm seeing uh, you, you appear to be uh, the one in charge of the group this evening. Uh, yes, I am. Are there any additional accommodations that you would specifically like at your room? Uh, give me a big bottle of Elven Fire Wine, please. If you oh, have yes, sir. I brought it for you, of course. Thank you. So... She makes a note of Elven Fire Wine to be on ice for you in your room. Um, are there anything else you'd like to speak with Hannah about? She's here and she's taking all of these, your, uh, your names. So what are the names you're going to give her for the rooms? Or she could just take the one name. Yeah, she's put under my name, Evan. Evan. Evan, got it. That's the one. Well done. Evan. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, well, well, hail and well met, uh, Evan, and uh, our, our other visiting lords. We hope that you enjoy your stay, and that it would be something that you can go and uh, share with your friends throughout the world. Yes. Would you happen to know anybody that can repair a spell page in a spell book? 
Uh, now, that probably would be best suited uh, at the Wizard's Tower. Um, however, they do only see people during the hours of daylight. During business uh, hours. You might see, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Rollo here this evening, Rollo the Red. Um, if he is in town, or if he is, uh, I haven't currently seen him walk in, but I mean, ways with wizards, it's hard to tell if they are coming or going uh, with all of their magical abilities. Um, yes, so... Uh, Roll the red. He's dressed in red, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, he has fine red uh, robes that he wears. Okay. Uh, Hannah, where would we go about... Uh, <coughs> who might we talk to uh, to acquire some more uh, illicit substances? <laughs> Something a little stronger than the, the wine, perhaps. Uh, now, what uh, specifically are you looking for? Oh, what do you have to offer? Uh, well, I'm an adventurous individual. If uh, you could even just point me in the direction or give me a name, perhaps. She looks uh, to <laughs> see if there are other people who are close by who are <laughs> hearing what's going on. Um, I say this right by a guard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you call a guard over. Yeah. Hey, maybe he knows. Captain such and such. Where's all your drug dealers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the good drug dealers. I, uh, uh, um, if I you would have uh, a moment, I could uh, uh, take you into the office and uh, uh, do a bump. Uh, sh- just um, give you an idea of what we what we might be able to offer. That would be, that would be uh, very much appreciated. Um, uh, is there, Ian, is there a <laughs> ONA sign? Oh. Like some uh, kind of secret sign or something that is regularly given that's... It's like a handshake. We look like a Ooh! 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 territory sign. No, there, there oh, is... Yeah. There is a stuffed owl and an arrow that are just go... Yeah. You have... Um, yeah. Though, I mean, there are various different uh, things that you have used inside your city. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you give the subtle hints, like the subtle like, signs, like you're scratching your eyebrow a certain way or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't appear like she's giving you any return. Mm-hmm. Um, you also have not seen any uh, etchings of the um, the logo itself, of the Halloween era, which has... Any other thieves can't? Um, no. Before we walked in, can I roll a retro roll or something? Negative. No, uh, I don't, I don't uh, care. You. I'm not a DM, dude. I don't know. So, Thieves Can't, the spoken language is just when people are talking in code. So, what about the, like, the bomb, the bomb science? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, that's, not, that's not a thing. You... The homeless thieves know that only, though. Oh, homeless, homeless thieves. Homeless thieves. <laughs> Everyone here appears <laughs> to have a homeless. No, technically I'm homeless. I'm in the jungle. <laughs> or from the jungle. But the jungle is your home. Is your home. Yeah. Everywhere is your home. So uh, yeah. So after I mean, we get our stuff set up, and then I want to go follow her back and ask her any questions. Sure. Well, yeah. Give me a, an idea of how beautiful she is. Uh, so see, I totally like she's gonna be beautiful. It's just how beautiful? No, it's like her. A, it's like a three, uh, whatever. Four. Four. While uh, some of the other workers appear to have painted faces uh-huh. uh, to accentuate that natural beauty that women are supposed to have with uh, the makeup of the lipstick so and things like that. Um, she right. has a natural beauty to her. She's here. not <laughs> wearing really any uh, <laughs> makeup that you can tell, uh-huh. uh, but her hair is, uh, it's long, it's, it's this very, like, very pretty uh, midnight black that's almost blue. Like, it's, uh, it's a very healthy... Uh, long hair that she has that's just cascading behind uh, and down her shoulders and everything probably comes to about is her she small? high waist. She is uh, probably around 5'3", five, 5'3", three, five foot three inches. What are measurements though? So, uh, uh, right. Uh, so she 34, is... 28. I just have no idea what those uh, things are. 11 hands. Yeah, 11, 11 hands. <laughs> now you're measuring in like... Horse measurement. That's One, basically two, goodness, no, <laughs> That's oh, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Does she? I mean, I don't know. She has to find somebody to. She is very pretty, and she is probably in her late twenties. Yeah, she's out of my league for sure. What do you think? She's out of my league. Yeah. Uh no. 
Did you, the, did you hey, see Avenger, the? You think hey, she's out of my league? Hey, nah, man. Did you see, the, did you see that old <laughs> worst <laughs> friends <laughs> ever? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that I was speaking to earlier. Yeah, but he went to college for sure. <laughs> He's not a pastry chef. <laughs> yeah, but if you He's if, you, a if you give her a sample of mm-hmm. your goods, well, that's sure. Little, that, that sounds that, a little bit boring. Yeah, that's how that's how you get in trouble. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's guards yeah, around buying your pastry. There's guards around yeah. pastry. There's uh, guards Martha. I, I look at Martha and I'm like, it's going that's, that it doesn't make any more sense. Yeah, How about they just go talk to her? Uh, uh, Riven has it, already uh, split it, off and has headed up to a room. They, or how, how much the uh, escort company is. Hmm. If it comes up, I might mention it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Don't let me speak. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. There it is. So, uh, <laughs> so Ribbon takes forever. her room key and she heads over to uh, the stairs that head up to the second Ribbon? floor. Ribbon? Yeah. Okay. I mean, she's safe, right? We don't need, don't need to deal with her? Yeah, she's... Okay. I mean, Bye, anything, Ribbon! Bye! <laughs> if anything, people are uh, not safe being near her because she's in such, like, she's like an angry storm cloud, like... Yeah, like on a mission just to like get away from everyone right now. So yeah, she's so grumpy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she's always so grumpy. Yeah. Oh, so nice. uh, okay, so you, uh, what, are, what is everyone else doing while Benjen and um, Hannah head off to the office? We're waiting for the show because we need to get healed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that will happen probably. <laughs> I don't know. Know. I just, I have exercised the demon. She's like televangelist. Four, <laughs> I have 10, 30, <laughs> 11, probably. Oh, man. Man. She just start. takes the like, money and does it. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Are you oh, no. no. We kind of want to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to pay for the next room. Wait, wait. But we can choose a hotel. Uh, I'm right. Right. <laughs> this is a this is Nicholas Cage movie. Next. Yeah. So, oh, hell, how have I done? We've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> Just having no interest in gambling at all. I just hang out with one of them too, I guess, whatever they Got do. it. All right. So, um, oh, uh, Benjamin, you and Hannah move over to where there's a, there are a couple oh. of boxes behind. And uh, she takes a key out and unlocks the door and uh, pushes it aside for you as you come in. Uh, she motions for you to sit down um, <laughs> and then does a quick look and then closes the door behind you and then oh. uh, flips a lock. Uh, close. Uh, she locks us in? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Seven minutes in heaven. That's yeah. So, uh, she uh, sits across. Only the way room. to get out of that locked door is to break it for me. <laughs> Seven minutes in the Yeah. It's locked from the inside. Yeah. You should be able to unlock <laughs> it. It's like the guy breaks his window out of the inside of his car. <laughs> the, um, okay, so she, <laughs> she sits down across from me. Uh, so now, um, what exactly, kind of, what kind of experience are you looking to have? Uh, something to uh, enhance the abilities, something to... Uh, well, I've, I mean, I've never had any uh, <laughs> points, so I don't think something like that, but uh, to be honest, I mean, have you, have you been here your whole life? Uh, it has been, uh, so I moved here when I was very young, I can't really mm-hmm. remember where I was from before. Uh, yes, so the that's of depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a depressing childhood. So uh, the the mm-hmm. the truth is that we come from. Uh, um, oh man, what do they call that other kingdom? Oh, Thuheath. Yeah, we come from Thuheath, and and <clears throat> oh. we just are interested in perhaps expanding some of our, um, our business dealings into the free cities. Um, is there just looking to get our feet wet and? Um, perhaps uh, meet some of the local players and um, participate in some of the uh, the mercantile here. Oh, so you deal uh, with your own types of oils and trades? Onglands, yes. Very well. Um, so... Uh, but we'd be happy to, to trade and barter, bring things back to the... No, well, it's not... Don't, don't mind. Well, it's not uh, explicitly... Disallowed in the city. Um, we do try to keep it under wraps because um, if it was known uh, to the leadership, they might uh, put a stop to it. Um, and we, we, we do deal in, um, in our own uh, manner of goods. Mm-hmm. So, uh, can you name some for me? Uh, of course. Uh, so we have. Uh, if you're a cop, you have to tell me you're a cop. That's the law. <laughs> Are you a cop? 
No. Okay, <laughs> she good. looks down. Yeah. Are, you, are you a cloak? <laughs> you gotta use the right term. Yeah, yeah. Are you a blade? Are you a cloak? cloak. What are you? Cool snow or not? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, use um, a thieves can. You gotta throw it out. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got to print that. <laughs> And so we have uh, we have our own magpies. We've got our own minstrels. We've got uh, contacts. We've got uh, I brother, the stupid thieves can kids uh, pearls. We've got uh, the majority uh, spread throughout uh, the city. Um, however, the what I'm what I'm really looking for is a, a an uncle, somebody who I might trust. Of course, uh, we've we've heard the name of a uh, of a kid, um, a brother maybe. Who uh, who might be willing to um, deal with some some of our less um, reputable uh, friends and fellows? Oh, which um, brother is this? I, I mean, wait, what happens? What do you do when he, do you give the guy his name? I feel terrible saying that. Just, uh, uh, the it's, it's a gentleman. Is it? Like I said, he's a kid. He wears. Uh, he wears these uh, platinum bands on his on his uh, wrist. You uh, know who I'm talking about? I uh, think I know which brother you're talking about. It's a little on the shorter side than the rest of us. Yes, a beard as well. Uh, full beard, yes. yes. Uh, a, li- a little bit young to be wearing a beard, but this is what you've been told. We need to get in touch with him if you know who he is. He has a gray beard. Yes. Okay. Now, <laughs> normally, <laughs> he tends to uh, his own garden. Um, I haven't it's seen him probably in uh, two ten days. Is uh, is the individual uh, the kid? Is he uh, is he a dragon? Uh, <laughs> right in the peril. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's uh, so as long as we keep things to ourselves, uh, the three cities, uh, we wouldn't find ourselves resting anywhere. Right. Yes. No. The dragon itself. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> The dragon itself is a bit uh, on the newer side, so we haven't had any real trouble uh, from the dragon. So, mm-hmm. um, that being said, there is, is, is the magistrate, and that is the real authority here. Uh, in the magistrate's not on my teacher. She's probably oh. speaking literally. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. literally. I'm all oh, no, looking through my flashcards. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't on the test! <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, now, the... So is, is this kid, is, uh, the individual of whom you were speaking, is, uh, so is, is he the uncle? Uh, he is not only uh, an uncle, but uh, he is a purveyor of, uh, of the, 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 the quality needs that, that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, now, he, he's had uh, quite a bit of success uh, in his own field, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, it is for that reason that we rely so heavily upon him, but uh, of course, like I said, it has been probably uh, two, ten days since uh, we last saw him. It's like 20 days? Uh, it's, it's quite a long time. Is he, is he normal or not that long? It's not uncommon, <clears throat> uh, but we're not exactly sure what he has to go off and do. I know that there's some type of rotation required within the mines themselves. Uh, oh, so, so the individual, he's, he's a working man? Uh, yes. Uh, so do, you, do you know what they mine there? Is it uh, oils? Perhaps some kind of uh, inks? <laughs> uh, goods with which, or, or materials with which to uh, provide some type of cutlery? This, this, this is so awesome. <laughs> There's quite a bit of... Uh, iron, they, stone, clay. They have quite a bit of iron. Okay. Um, also, uh, they, they have also been able to uh, create a lot of iron bits that are used uh, throughout the city for whatever means. Um, now, how they have... Yeah. Uh, the ability to iron bits is magic to create oh, these yeah. iron bits. Uh, of course, it's it's required for any type of uh, edifice oh, or yeah, building. Are these speaking these for. items that are they rusted iron? Uh, they are, I have not seen any rust on the iron since I've been working. So, do you know that uh, is there perhaps a chance to um, is there a dig site somewhere? Uh, there is indeed. Uh, 
However, the, the, the openings to, uh, to the dig site uh, are unknown to me. I, I wouldn't know exactly where. But the drop do you know? Is. Do you know who we might be able to get in? Uh, do you know who, anyone who knows how to get in touch with uh, with my uncle? Uh, well, there is. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> there are a couple of uh, dogs that you might be able to find who dogs <laughs> into the, on the southern side of the city. Um, I know that the that the kids <laughs> tend to the dogs on the, on the south end. And uh, you don't know that one. No. You're like, it's really low, isn't he? <laughs> no, no, no. You control the world. And the lanes. It's on the bottom uh, right. Oh, 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 oh. oh. S- oh. Say it again. What did you say? So, <laughs> I found the, the word. The kids, the the kids, kids have some dogs in their employ who oh. uh, might be able to give you more information if you were to track is, them. Is that, is that a well, is that a, uh, is that a well-known fact? Uh, no. Normally this, the, uh, the regular someone where is the, do they employ they employ kobolds yeah, and right. orcs and goblins? Oh Jesus! Oh the, <laughs> the dwarf. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Plus, no one knows how large their clan is, <laughs> which is probably like five hundred people <laughs> or more. And they make magic items. And we, they haven't seen our contact from him for twenty days. You killed him. Did you kill him before you came? <laughs> not yet. For sure. He, in my head, I'm like freaking a mirror. Oh, I'm not even there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. Uh, no, of course, <laughs> the, the, they do keep their dogs uh, fenced in, so it's hard to, to get a hold of them. Um, there is a pearl that uh, you might be able to find. They, they treat the dogs like slaves, literally. Uh, well, I've heard that's the only way to really uh, tame a dog. Well, with the sword. <laughs> with the sword. And cutlery. Yeah, cutlery. Oh, yes. Cutlery. Animal cruelty. Yeah. Yep. Either. Yep. So, uh, just to be honest, uh, we're happy to stay here. We have plenty of coin to share and, and to participate in playing your games. Um, is there perhaps a, a game or two that, that we... Um, a meal or two that we might... Uh, that we may not want to, to cook. Uh, now, I wouldn't recommend staying away from Knuckles. You, you would or would not? I would recommend staying away from Knuckles. Dice, don't play dice. Uh, the patrons tend to uh, be on the more losing end of that bargain. Uh, because of the, uh, the house? Or because, because of the manor? Or because of... Uh, um, there's so many brushes in the area. Uh, well, if you find... <laughs> this is it's awesome. The best. It's the best. There are brothers mixed uh, around the organization as well mm-hmm. as around at different tables. Does um, interesting. I mean, I, I, I want to share what would be an appropriate amount of coin to share with her for her information so far. Because she's, she's been very important. Yeah, so it would be probably a, a few gold would be... Yeah. Why, why are you asking him? So, because uh, I don't, you, know you would know like the market. Value. That's why I'm asking. Market, yeah, the market. I'm value. asking what the market value is. Yeah, so um, I, I give uh, I give her um, I give her five gold out of the party gold the, the, the party funds. And <laughs> she, uh, she pulls out a small uh, um, uh, pouch and uh, slides it across the table to you. Yeah. Um, now this uh, could be something that we could have a little fun with later tonight. Ah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, she found the, uh, she dropped the bag. She found oh, the week. You. Yeah. Oh, you dropped this bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I could have sworn I dropped the bag. Um, is uh, <laughs> it, out of interest? Does the does the manor? Um, does does your employer? Uh, uh, does does he have brothers on his on his uh, staff? Now, uh, Selor does not. Uh, so he, he owns. Is yes. He's the yeah. proprietor. Selor uh, doesn't necessarily know of uh, those of us who are working here under his employ and under his uh, eye, but um, I think in the end, all he's happy about is that coin is moving mm-hmm. and uh, that at the end of the day, he's got too much iron to build with. 
Um, in the more literal sense, uh, the food here, is it good? Oh, yes. We have very good chefs on hand. Oh, very well. Um, we thank you so much for your time. The, uh, um, uh, could, I, could I perhaps get your family name? Oh, yes, so... Test! Test! <laughs> test! <laughs> Smith. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? And um, I get it. Okay, I want to. No. Well, no, but I need I need options. I'm not living forever, man. Have you seen my character portrait? Like, it's, I'm not getting prettier. Um, do I feel I do not want to roll because I suck at rolling? So I will continue to talk until I get into a situation I feel more comfortable. <laughs> do I feel like it's a little bit time to just hey, are you, you know, are you interested? Or, just a little bit. Uh, roll on inside show. Fetch! Yeah, that'll be... So, I'll, I'd like to role play a little bit longer, maybe. <laughs> so, uh... I mean, Hannah, she's a beautiful woman. I, I, I definitely think that she'd have... No, I do not. Um, you don't want the rest of the night to speak game? Uh, the, uh... Just chill here. Um... They've been in okay, there for a while. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> How about with all this awesome roleplay, maybe like you can have advantage. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Come oh, on, oh, sixteen dollar dice. <laughs> Fail me not. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's I okay. Was, no, you still don't know that. Uh, eleven. Eleven. <laughs> that is fifty. Insight. That was a fifty percent. Fifty-one percent. Man, I higher sh- than I rolled a twenty. She appears to have uh, opened you know, up. Through the door. Uh, pretty quickly to your mm-hmm. line of questioning, finding that you are uh, a brother as well, and uh, okay. are, she, she, she doesn't appear to be uninterested. So, I need to play this cool, guys. I just gotta get a long game. Just give her a card. No, nope, nope, I'm not gonna play. Tell her how to find you. We do need flyers. So that's, a really, really, that's a really good yeah. point. We need some flyers. <laughs> it's a that way you can take a flyer out of yeah. like you know. So uh if you man, do we have any business cards, Ben? Uh if you had mentioned this before, but it was on the road I think that you said that we need to make business cards. Our business cards usually okay. are our Okay, products. I'm not gonna be cheesy. Hey, I could've I could have made um, that business cards. Ha- do I have any illicit substances on me right now? Uh you Did I steal the rest of a vendor's dream. No, he, he, <laughs> he smoked the rest of it. He smoked all of it. He smoked yeah. the rest Do I have... Wait, okay. you're... Okay. You have the brownies. You have your brownie. Yeah, you do Are have you brownies. No, that thing's like two days brownies. old, man. This still tastes it's, good. No, no, it was the day. It's, uh, oh, oh. It was last night <laughs> that you had the, the brownie. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, can I... But can I ask you one more question? Of course. Um, I have I have something here, and I, I have the uh, new dog just hey, open the gate. This bro. dog looks like this, this doesn't have knees. His Boy, legs are this oh, big. I know. Oh, oh, I open the gate. Uh, yeah, it's really so no. The um, they can all do it except for the little one. So wrapped in kind of a cloth <laughs> or a cloak or something like that. I want to take out um, Carmen's twin. Um, I know this item. So we came across it uh, rather by chance. Um, I appreciate the forthright you've been. To be, to, to be honest, we're, we're brothers of the blade of the. Uh, that's Ooh, you. Yeah, of uh, yeah. the. I, what if I start claiming your game? That would be bad. Huh? I think they'll kill you. For yeah, that. you would kill. Uh, <laughs> uh, you so know, you're not gonna I'd do like that. to confide in you. So <laughs> I'm totally <laughs> falling for her looks. I got you. hook, line, and seeker. Okay. Um, Only for her looks, though. What? No, she's super cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the and she's professional, right? right. right. <laughs> and, the uh, and, she's, so, uh, and she's down for the what's it goods? Oh yeah, yeah. she's so uh, yeah. we're here on a, on a mission from um, the Alamero. Are you familiar familiar with the with the club? The uh, syndicate. The syndicate is such a good name. Oh yeah. No, so, so specifically <laughs> of uh, the Allen Arrow. Yes. Um, but we are the uh, the candle burners, so um, it might be that just uh, perhaps our organization uh, has not met one of uh, of your own. Um, we deal in in, in uh, 
are, are we trying to steal their product? Well, that's what I'm going to find yeah. out because ooh, ooh, ooh. I will cash all of you in for love. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Right? Uh, yeah. So we, so um, I served in the in the Great War. Um, I was a, I was an archer and I was also a number of different things. But um, uh, we're simple, we're simple pastry chefs in in Ifa. and uh, part of our business is to trade um, and to provide illicit substances for individuals adults only who would prefer to um, imbibe and or partake in, in such you hear a hound on yeah. the outside of the oh. door oh. oh sorry I'm still not cool with being a drug dealer oh, wait so wait dogs and, yeah <laughs> dogs uh, the, the cobbles everywhere um uh, the, the, the candle, hands. the candle, uh, what's it? Candle what? Burners. 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 Yeah. What, what uh, tools of the trade do, you, do the candle burners uh, deal? Uh, so, no, we don't have uh, too much oil, um, but we do like to uh, uh, help people with ink and uh, providing them with the sticks and the hoods that they need to get uh, what they need. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, there are a number of us, uh, like uh, our oh. our kid uncle, who um, is... <laughs> he, he's, he's a candle burner. Uh, he short person. Yeah, it's kind of like a gay oh. term. <laughs> <laughs> like a oh, okay. fudgebacker or something. He is uh, also uh, one uh, that helps us. Um, however, his expertise has been something that we have not uh, on a grand scale, been uh, moving uh, across. Um, most of our earnings come from uh, a game of knuckles or um, helping people to, to eat nice. what they need. Um, yeah. And okay. uh, with that in yeah. mind, that's where we've been able to uh, fund more things with the organization. Just racketeering. Yep. Just, yep. Just racketeering. All right. Uh, are, are, do you, do you, are you blacksmiths as well? Or just simple scribblers? Uh, we don't have uh, any more than just a single uh, scribbler, but uh, we do have uh, one of the people who work in the pit. Uh, they are able to... Uh, that is not a... Uh, oh. <laughs> We're like, no, 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 no. You get the sense she's referring to the vault area. Um, okay. That is where one of our boxes oh. was uh, currently hired. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good place to be. Uh, again, I thank you so much for your time. Uh, we expect to be here until we can get a hold of a hold of our uncle. Um, do you know who might know how to get in touch with him? A friend or a close ally? Somebody who who is a brother who we can trust. Now, if you were to find... Uh, we win d, &D. Yeah. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah, Hannah, you didn't tell me your last name! Benji's like, like, oh, you it's Adol. Adol. Okay. Yeah, okay. A-E-D-A-L-L. -L. Hannah. Adolf. That would really... Hannah kind of sounds nice. What's um, my character's last name? What were you saying about your sword? Sorry, that was something else. No, oh, yeah, we'll get back to that in just a second. But sure. does she know... The, the Hannah Adolf, does she know anybody who, uh, who would have... Um, who knows how to get in touch with uh, Thoramen? Now, we do have a pearl that you might be able to use in order to send a message to him. Okay. Uh, and is it Rollo the Red? Mm -hmm. That uh, is it. Is it the Rollo we were speaking about earlier? That is uh, correct. And you haven't seen him either, though. Uh, no, but he does come in quite frequently. So he should be. If he's not here tonight, uh, he will be at his residence, which is uh, within the uh, the Mage Tower District. Okay. Um, so he'll be the one who can get us information. Oh, and then the sword. I'm going to show her. Uh, uh, Karna's twin, oh. and see if she has any oh. inside or showing her. Oh, it's very beautiful blade. It's cheap. Um, oh, of course. It is. looks like it was forged for the war. You say that this is made of iron bits? Uh, we're not completely sure, but yes. Uh, well, it's made of gold? Oh, no, magic sound. <laughs> it looks like a plain uh, war sword, uh -huh. in it's all like appearances. Um, but it does have those magical mm -hmm. claws that you uh, Yes, that's, that's what our... That's what our uh, our mages has told us. Oh, our pearl. Well, um, if you did see Rolo, he might be able to uh, 
ascertain any information about it that you might be looking for. Would he be the blacksmith who helped me sell such a thing? Uh, no, he's a wizard. He is a... I know, but he's, if he can fence it. Uh, uh, maybe Monty, uh, maybe Monty. Now, if you're looking to no, no, sell a objects of magical no. nature, that in and of itself is not a game. Something that is from the here. There mm -hmm. are, there's no uh, shortage of uh, magical item stalls, whether or not they be uh, real or imagined. Well, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. Um, and if you're ever in um, Ifan, I'd like you to stop by Eldrick's oh, it, Magic Emporium. I, I, I've never been to Ifan. I, I will have to uh, <laughs> make an attempt to make it. Any time you're, you're free to stay at my place. Any time you'd like. I have many rooms. She blushes a little bit and uh, that's, a, that's as hard so, I'm gonna hit. I'm so just a bun. Yeah. It's just These a bun. These are the marks yes. that are beyond which, verbal, which I was asking for. Uh, yes. Which we haven't seen. No, yet. You, you have not Gracias, seen me any of the uh, thieves' marks. Okay, I immediately mean, run out like once I'm cool and we're done. So we're cool. Oh, yeah. and I want to get her uh, five more. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, on your way out, uh, you guess I you like extending your hand or whatever to like yeah. shake or whatever. Uh, so she holds on to it a little bit longer, Ooh. and then let's go. And that's, I'm off. Yes. That's, uh, <laughs> she she rubbed oil on you actually. Oh, I hope not. I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so she unlocks the door for okay. you. And, I immediately run out. Gaps. Seller owns the place. How was it? They're pretty awesome. Doesn't take me long. It's been a long time. Candle burners. They're they're forgers and cheats. I tell us right in front of everybody. Just kidding. Okay. So let's review everything we learned. Okay. Uh, Are we just doing this out in the open? No, we're room. up in the rooms. We're in the rooms. Oh, okay. You're going to go drop your stuff off first before you go down. I tell you guys everything. Huge problem, Martha. Yes. So I go. I go. Drama has been missing for the last uh, twenty days. Okay. So she can hear that. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. We go to Riven's room. Riven, uh... She probably doesn't let us in. She... I'll pick, I'll pick the door. Hold Done. on, let me do oh. this. I'll pick the lock. The dormitory, the, the pick of your eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, she does answer the door when you, when you knock. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hey, you need to hear all. He's briefing us. All right. So Done, tell them everything. Okay. We have a huge problem now, and I don't know how we have to go find Rolo. That's the step one. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to bed. If you guys see Rolo tonight, then hey, what come get me. Hey, that question I asked you guys? Oh. <laughs> um, Inside check. It didn't come up. <laughs> uh, so it's you'll, need, you'll need to roll a deception. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> So it, is it deception? Let me see what's better. Yeah, if you're telling a lie or you're trying to deceive him. Uh, it, 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 acrobatics. Acrobatics. it didn't come up, yeah, so we persuade <laughs> How about acrobatics? Persuasion if you're telling the truth, deception if you're telling a lie. Four, I got a slide of hand. I got a 13 hand touch. <laughs> what do I roll? Persuasion? Persuasion or... Yeah! Oh, yeah, it's yeah, telling the truth. It Something. just didn't come up while you were talking. <laughs> yeah, you're like... But this thing doesn't bounce, it just like conk. <laughs> no, I, I forgot that was sitting there. You saw how pretty she was. Oh, I, look, you got caught up in the, the minute. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I also okay. I also gave her some of the party gold. So beyond that. Wait, wait, what? Nothing. It doesn't affect you. You're not part of the party, oh. right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, Rolo, the Rolo the Red, you said? Yes. He is going to be our key to get in, which probably is going to involve a vendor. Because he's a beast herd. Oh, I should have found out more about him. Dang it. You should ask Hannah if you can know more about Rolo, I guess. I didn't think to ask, like, what kind of spells does he know? Or <laughs> I didn't know what race he is. I mean, well, I Probably assume he's in red. Red. <laughs> okay, so I'll go up to Hannah. I've so totally I'm let you down a bit, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so you are in the room right room now. Is there anything else you want to discuss while you're in the rooms? No. I'm done. So you're going to bed. I do ask uh, Ribbon and Amber both. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think she likes me? I mean, should I do something? I don't know. I mean, she's the one I know the best. Then I'm going to ask Martha because she's wicked experienced. <laughs> uh, Ribbon I don't care what she says. And Amber would probably say, if you feel good, go for it. 
Yeah. You know, we got to work on you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> I go ask Mark. How does she react to Did she... I mean, there's are there any signals? Any, I mean, she held on to my hand a little bit longer than I was normal. I, I just took a bath. I don't know. Maybe it's because my hands were full. Did you inspect the pouch that she gave you at all? Oh, Mark! I totally forgot. Oh, oh, my God. Don't tell me you're putting this in. But she gave me this pouch. I don't even know. I've seen it. So I gave her some gold. So technically, this pouch is, I mean, jeez. It it's probably belongs to the party. It, it, but it does not belong to the party. <laughs> Vendor, trying to keep them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> yes. We do. We definitely need to talk to him. He's yeah. smoking the weed so much. So <laughs> he says he can quit whenever he wants, but I mean, you and I are old enough to know. Yeah. He's on a very dangerous path. We were at a perfectly good end, and we, we got kicked out. I, to be honest, I, I feel a little bit, a little bit responsible. I mean, he came out of college. He's been with us for years, but. I mean, we kind of made it easy for him. <laughs> I gave him a donut cup and all the drugs he could want. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not the best decision I've made, but it's definitely won't be the last poor decision I've made in my life. So, so say, we should reorg where he, he works? We should, I don't know. We're putting in supplies? Or we're putting in, I, I don't know. We just, when we find some money, maybe we pay for uh, some kind of, I don't know, rehab. Yeah. That's what all the rich kids go to nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not rich. Uh, so anyway, she gave me this bag. I don't even know what's in it. I mean, just poke into it. Does it look like anything? Her and I. Uh, so it's some type of uh, uh, mushroom that you can't identify. Mm -hmm. it, it's like it looks like a booger. You've used uh, <laughs> mushrooms in cooking before, just uh, because you have the gourmand food. Mm -hmm. You are quite. What, do I know if it would be because uh, Stephen doesn't know anything about cooking? Like I can order a wicked pizza. That's it. You can smell it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, would I know? Would it? Would I smell it? Would I kind of taste it a little bit on my tongue to know if it was? Yes. So this is something that you ingest mm -hmm. and. Uh, the, you're not exactly sure what properties they have. Okay. Uh, uh, would Amber know? Or uh, Ribbon know? Uh, let me roll. She, uh, like, while the rest of us were all <clears throat> fighting war, she was... I would actually like to go talk to her about the criminal and then we're talking amongst themselves. Sure. Uh, she uh, has not encountered these types before. However, she is familiar with a similar type of substance mm -hmm. where it gives you... Um, a very hallucinogenic experience. So whenever you take it, make yeah. sure that you're in a place where you'll be safe and you can't hurt yourself. So, uh, Riven, do you think maybe, I mean, Vinder's the only one who really knows under, he understands magic. Uh, should we ask him or just maybe not tell him about well, If you're worried that if he... When you said Hannah just gave them to you, I would think that she would well, have okay. said that. Please, Riven, Riven I, I, I apologize. Yeah. I'm going to pay the party back, but she was giving me so much information. She goes, I'll go over red and say, Lord, I give her five gold. I know it's a lot. I know. I, I'm very sorry, but I mean, she was so beautiful. No. You, I think you're wonderful, but you have horns and a tail. And you're, you're part of the devil. <laughs> I mean, you and Martha have been my only friends for years. It's been a long time. It's, I, the point is, the war has gotten better. Look, now you can take the mushrooms as a sign. Either she gave them to kill you, or she gave them to have a good time with. Now that's the ribbon that I have. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me try mm -hmm. this. Oh, you, he's not here anymore. Well, <laughs> well, what I, I said I was talking to him. Oh, so you're in the corner, we totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Amir walks up yeah. behind you. Hey, yeah. he just takes no, it and starts... No, my moving. head just pops up, like, right here as he's <laughs> Just clunk, like Beetlejuice. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Amir. What is that? Uh, actually... Hey, can I go to see if I've seen that before? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to yeah, poison. Yeah, perception. Or, as a Steve say, an oil. An oil, yes. Perception? Fetch. Eleven? Uh, I mean, you... 
see them talking, you, you see them... No, 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 no. If I could roll to discern what that is. It would be a nature saying? check. So you add your for nature. Do I get a re-roll? <laughs> no. Uh, no. You can add your nature modifier. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you said 13? 13. So you take a look at it. It looks uh, like this isn't something that grows. Well, obviously, no mushrooms grow in the sun. Uh, but this probably came from the Underdark. Ooh. Is this, uh, is this something we're supposed to I back? hold it in moonlight to see if it glows. Uh, it Open the window. does not glow <laughs> in the moonlight. All right. I go get a vendor. Do we know? The vendor is still this, in the room. The vendor, we just started talking about this mushroom. Really need you not to start we're smoking it. <laughs> Uh-huh. I know we kind of like, smoke. It. But I know what it is. Can I take it? I don't know. Can I do nature is check it on it? Yes. yes. What's that? Ah, it, oh, it could be the two plus guy makes four, so that's like a six. Yeah, so we're uh, you're to not familiar with this other. <laughs> you don't know. Um, do you no. do Riven you, uh, heads out and goes to a room. No. Oh, yeah. Bye, vendor. I mean, what's it? <laughs> uh, is it any magical properties at all? You can uh, roll our game check. Did you All see right, let's do that. Oh, Magic property. Hey, can I see if it's poisonous? Uh, you rolled for nature already. Uh, 24. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can it taste it. And no! Yeah, we are it. not tasting it. 24. 24? Uh, so the composition is, is, is without one. any magical properties to it. No, I won't take a full dose. Let me just... Okay, I, if, he, if you tell me that's what, that's what you need to know if it's poison? Yeah. Which makes sense to me, I mean, that's how you would, I mean, if you were in a kitchen, right? Oh, uh, yes. actually, that's not true, because I'm an alchemist, but I don't tell him that. <laughs> like, I'm sure, I'm sure I could put some chemicals to well, discern we, if it's poison. I think we're aware that you have that skill set of supplies. You've extracted, like... Yeah. Venom from three things. <laughs> Six. Now, granted, I mean, this has been like five sessions. I don't think no, you, you had you poured, gave, poured a vial. You, you gave a vial to him. You gave. We know you're an assassin. Told us okay. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you gave <laughs> you gave uh, Ribbon some yeah poison. spider juice or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure assassin does not taste their own poison. So, so I let you taste <laughs> it. I don't know. It is what you do. Oh, it's all. Yeah. Like, we are hey, go ahead and make the constitution. I already seven. have. Uh, with disadvantage. Oh no no, just I, just like a I, I already have problems discerning reality as it is. <laughs> as as well, I mean, I just want to make sure. So, I didn't think that far ahead. That's my as it as in just a normal roll. I constitution saving throw, and that would be it. You should probably stay in the room too. You, you, you can't leave the room. All four eleven. Of us, the four yeah. of us are eleven. Here. So uh, and now magic, you're, you you so take it and are trying to determine whether or not this has. Poisoned you, um, yeah, and you go. <laughs> 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 uh, just kidding, guys. Just yeah. Kidding. Normally, oh, I killed the mirror. <laughs> normally, you can feel it trying to move and change parts of your body. Yeah, because the snake bite. I've right. been poisoned a bunch of times. Yeah, before. <laughs> I'm like, I know how it feels. There's by no it. shortage of venomous creatures. Um, this <laughs> does not have that effect on you. Um, you do. Uh, see the, the walls of the room start slowly expanding away from you. Which is like do a Tuesday. Any, do I have any flashbacks? Um, any of the like wars I've been in or like you uh, see the the or, or the furniture that are in the like in the room. There's a mirror on the wall, there's uh, different things and um, there's a mirror on the wall. It's a mirror I'm <laughs> like ah! and it Wait. is because it's a mirror. Is that you or is that me? Yeah. They're both. And then I start going like this in the mirror. So these thick vines and trees begin sprouting up from the ground and growing through the. Just a little bit. And uh, the um, the the woods. uh, To be honest, the only one who should be holding this is a vendor. The woods that grow (laughs) and uh, the only one with the begin encompassing the room. Everyone who's there kind of. vanishes in a puff of uh, black smoke and you see uh, running through the woods uh, or through now the the jungle around you um, two elves that you recognize from your tribe back home and they are chasing something Um, you begin running with them 
uh, going uh, through the the, the jungle. And do I actually like shove them with like through the wind? Oh, I'll get I'll get on to that in a second. You run with them. Uh, you pull out your bow uh, and uh, are moving along the ground, oh, and then it gets into bad. a portion of. I'm of so sorry, Martha. You told me not to. The wood where you see, <laughs> you see the uh, the opening that is that's coming up, where you know that there's a it's small field in front of you, the, the and this is ideal yeah, for minutes. when you are chasing your quarry <laughs> to to actually catch it. Um, the lead. Uh, scout moves off and uh, heads off through a thick undergrowth in the, in the grass. Um, you climb up to a really high spot in the tree, uh, knock your arrow, and you see there uh, fleeing across the field um, is a, a, a very uh, large stag that is uh, moving across. And uh, knock your arrow and aim and uh, fire, and then at the, the very last moment where it is about to strike the stag and you see one of the elves look up at you and um, it's a maiden with uh, black hair, uh, just long, uh, and it's covered in mud and um, her entire body is mud and... Um, Do I recognize her? Uh, yes, um, this is... Uh, <coughs> uh, oh wait, I can look at it back here. Mm. It's in my email somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> so you recognize her. Uh, I'm going to say that her name. Insert here. <laughs> Insert Elvin. Yeah, here. Yeah, her name somewhere else. He's like, I don't want to rename her. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. So initially, I noticed the girl I say. Larilla Lara. Uh, Lorilla Lara? Yes. yes. That's not my backstory. And yeah. she has, uh, so she is wearing um, uh, like the, the the clothing that has been stitched uh, from the waist down. Everything else is uh, bare except for the mud that is caked all over her body um, with the symbols of uh, the hunt uh, painted on in a blacker mud. And um, she looks back at you and uh, waves at, at like the at a good shot, and at that point everything just vanishes, and you sit up, and you are sitting in this chair where everybody has been kind of waiting for you to do anything, but it looks like maybe a, a min like a second has passed since you sampled the oh, the mushroom, dang. and you were just sitting there the whole time, and so, so everyone's waiting to see if you're poisoned or not. Is, is, oh, it's is not it poisoned. poisoned. It's good to know what happened. It's not, nothing. Uh, Tingle. Uh, it's hard to. It's hard to say. I have. Uh, I I told you about my condition. So, so, I, so I, I should probably hold on to this then. Right? No, wait. It's it's really important though. I uh I had seen the. You said I had seen the chick we saved initially, <laughs> right? Before that, or was all oh. these people my? They were all your tribe. My tribe. Sorry, John. It was not my um, tribe. <clears throat> I mean, I seen my trap. I break it up in five equal pieces and give everybody an equal share. That's nice. So it's all yeah, nothing <laughs> even happened to my friend. I, I already ate my piece. Riven's already oh, out of the room, so oh, yes, man. oh so I don't use my taste room. <laughs> so he he <laughs> just tasted it and yes. he's eating a fifth of the no, small dose or a fifth of the dose. 17 plus... Oh, oh you're you trying to fail. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to fail, bro. Well, I, I can't control the, the you dice. You can choose to no, fail, though. You say I choose, I choose to fail. I choose to fail. <laughs> 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 yeah, so saving throws, you can choose to fail them. Okay. Yes, I mean, it's, it's funny. But that's why you're taking the drugs. There's, yeah. a, there's a guy on the You're not taking it just to be like, I say. <laughs> Worst drugs <laughs> ever. <laughs> did nothing, I did mean, nothing. And he posted uh, just something that one of his players had done. He was ex explaining, he's like, all right, so you know that the succubus is giving you a drink. Uh, so um, do you, so go ahead and roll an insight check to see if you, uh, or I mean, a, a constitution saving throw. He's like, succubus is poisoning me? I choose to fail. <laughs> what? I know what I'm about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, yeah, so you have... Uh, you have chosen to fail. So, uh, a vendor, you <laughs> have uh, become a lot cooler 
the You're movie. watching him, Benjamin. You're watching <laughs> Sit down. Uh, I will, I will. And uh, the, the room, uh, in a very similar fashion, um, okay. it, it begins to expand and move away. And then um, you see the ocean roll in, and you are on a, a beach so much um, looking friends. out over the so ocean. Much tell you and uh, the, there are a couple of yeah. classmates from uh, the no. wizard college that you were attending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is in. Tomorrow. 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 No, we're desperate. Oh wait, I have a map. Don't ruin this for me, Amir. Yeah. <laughs> this is in the princely city of Watoon. Watoon. Yeah. <clears throat> you are. Out, you are looking out over the bay. You see um, sailing vessels that are moving out. You see fishing vessels that have thrown their nets into the water. And uh, in front of you, you have a book. <laughs> And yeah. it's all we were supposed to have. We took it. It's become clear to you <laughs> now like it, that you have completely forgotten about this tome that you were studying. And now that you have uh, taken this uh, mushroom, you have you are you now have the book in front of you, and you're reading through the pages, and are now with your your hindsight are looking back on this experience and are seeing within the volumes of this book a spell form that actually encompasses the entire entirety of the book. And uh, I'm gonna take my <laughs> As soon as I know what this, I'm gonna do something super lame in it, like put it in spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> the, the book itself. Uh, Worst feat ever. Now that you are recognizing that it has that spell to it, it's, it's a hidden message. Uh, from the wizard who wrote that book. Write the spell but, down, man! Uh, but you, <laughs> you aren't, uh, you, I mean, you try and like, uh, uh, you take out a piece of paper and uh, begin physically copying it down, um, and, uh, and after the entire experience is over, uh, you realize you don't have anything written down. And you haven't taken down any of those <laughs> notes, Three but you do later. have the memory yeah. of the name of that book. Years <laughs> later. You do have and a name. You know the name of that book and where it is located in that library. Wow! And uh, you could probably go back and find it and look through it to see what that spell form was that was hidden inside. Of the thing. High five! <laughs> that was dope. What was the, yep. uh, the name of the spell book? You just got uh, some sp- that like book. lame experience. He got like a new spell book. Yeah. I'm gonna take my power on the I'm gonna it's gonna be like gratitude. I'm gonna figure out like the best (laughs) recipe. This is gonna be fantastic, guys. Uh, We're not gonna have any drug dealers anymore to work drug dealers. (laughs) We're drug dealers. We're all all, always taking care of some plot. Yours actually lasts a lot longer than you because you just took a small bite. So a lot of what you were doing and, and studying and going through it, like you there are the the two people who are with you from the from the school. Is he um, just drooling? Yeah, no, he's like time? he's just like like zoning out. Like he's just is like he sitting, sitting down. Yeah, he's sitting down. Okay, well I'm watching him. It's just my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was going to keep all of us. What happens if you take the whole thing? We man? talked about this like right before. We're like we should probably put him rehab, and you're like we. You're like oh yeah, I was got you. Yeah. That's what it does. Ooh. He is somewhere. We else are gonna right call you Eleven in real time. Eleven? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from Stranger Things. <clears throat> oh, I never yeah. watch. <laughs> so you do notice yeah. that the the friends uh, now look more like they probably have aged since then. Mm-hmm. So you now notice that they have a little bit different things about them. One of them has a, uh, a burn scar going across uh, his arm and down it that he did not have when you were in school together. Because mm-hmm. um, he's stupid. Imagine my interest. <laughs> yeah. Friends, not less friends. <laughs> Cast spells. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what were the names? name of the book ah, is... I'm going to Google this. I don't even care what he says. Ferdinand. The, the <laughs> Malefic Articles... That's already dark, though. Uh, U A I S E N. U A I S E N. Yes, that is the name of that book. Malefic Articles of Uasin. Yes, and your friends were named Mai Li, 
M A I L I. M I I L I. And Boda. Miami and Boda. Boda? Mm hmm. B O D A? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I know this isn't my little... Boda story. now has a, a, a burned arm. Malefic Articles? Yes. Um, and this, this was located in the library of the Watoon Wizard College, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Awesome. How did you spell that guy's name? Uh, hey, Boda? E B O D A. No, no, no. Uh, U, U F it? I, oh, U A S E N? U A I S E N. Uison, Uison. By the way, if she does take it, that's a little. Amir sign. is offering to take Riven's share of the mushrooms. No. No. <laughs> it's Riven's. Riven, Riven, you're gonna give it to her? Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you said it was hers, right? Rolling inside check to see. No, I don't need to. We need to remember, <laughs> remember that we're we'll working tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. we are working. Yeah. Trust you. Yeah. Why, why, how did I become, like, Russian? <laughs> uh, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Yeah. Um, so, I trust you. I did. <laughs> uh, you, you, you're going to give this to her, yes? Yeah. You can roll inside. I'm telling you. I give it to you. <laughs> so, I walk over to That's a room, big deal for me. On the door. Okay. And just... Tell her that he, he sees the triple con on you. Triple shell. I divided it. Uh, <laughs> I think this will help whatever you're going through, and I would like to persuade her to try and take sure insight versus you. What are you do? We always drug on people. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Seven. Seven. All right. So that's your persuasion. She takes it. I've well, and then I tell her that I've already taken it. He's in the process of taking it. Well, it's a obvious. A, 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 obvious. A vendor always takes a drug, so <laughs> we already assume. <laughs> How the story takes <laughs> off. In case, in case she's wondering if it's gonna like mess her up, I uh, say I've already tried it. He's still tripping off it. Whatever it does. And, He's uh, supposed to talk to Roll a bit. <laughs> yeah. Say so, all right. I'm very tired. Just have have a good night here. Yeah, you too. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> leave, him, yeah. <laughs> he's just waiting there. She, she doesn't take it? She takes it oh, and then closes the door. Uh, is he still tripping? Uh, it probably lasts like five minutes. Oh, it's like So, like so I'm still so I'm still tripping right now, right? Uh, it depends on how long you're waiting to do what you're so doing. So, I wait till he's safe. <laughs> yeah. He Vendor. comes out of it and... Uh, Vendor, are you good? Yeah. Okay. I, I just had this crazy flashback. Or did I, I need to take mine. Okay. Like, I'm super stoked. <laughs> and you guys... Martha, you're in charge. <clears throat> um, are you gonna? If I, are you gonna watch me? I want to jump out of a window. Yeah, yeah. I'll or I can have Amber watch. Uh, Riven watch me. I'll watch you. She's We're all right here. Sleep. She's going to bed. She doesn't even want to see any of us. <clears throat> okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bench. Oh, I do mine with. If I make it into a tea. Ah, mushroom tea sounds disgusting. Yeah. I do whatever he did. <laughs> Evander. Uh, see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, be <Thief>. so. <laughs> you go to roll a constitution save throw or choose to fail. Uh, oh, I'm going to fail. Okay, <laughs> alright. So you. Uh, you if I roll a one. Well, no, no, I'm going to fail. Because I'll roll a one. Well, one you, yeah. you take uh, the substance, and um, again, the room expands away from you. And uh, where. The hold on, let me do something here. Did uh, did she tell me what this was called? I didn't ask. That. No, she didn't. She just this, 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 this is the this is part Her of the looks the just moved you and you <laughs> asked about rolls or drugs. I know where it's at. Vinder's got that though. He's got it. Right? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll there ask. is uh, I'll so yeah. the room expands for you. Uh, you find yourself. This is the closest. I personally have ever been to taking drugs. <laughs> Role playing a character who has taken drugs. <laughs> you find um, yourself uh, in a uh, in, inside that? the encampment of um, one of your patrols that you were a part of inside <sighs> the war. Freaking bummer. And 
The... I'm back in Nam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's a real time view. You right? remember this particular evening. It was one that was uh, the moment where you uh, decided that you were going to try and uh, move away from the glory side of the war uh-huh. to more of a passive, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Um, and that was because at that time, um, in this evening while you were over um, um, the, the, the campfire, there is an ambush that happens. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, you uh, look around, know where it's going to come from, and begin organizing the group. And it... Uh, it I was in charge. That you, was a very bad decision. You uh, were not in charge. Oh, okay. Uh, but because of the nature of this being something that's controlled by your... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you sure are directing everybody and they're listening to you and uh, you see one of uh, your friends from the war okay. uh, who died in this uh, not right now. No. in this, this is ambush. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> this is probably what we're here for. <clears throat> I will just say so his name is like Cyrus. Okay. And uh, you and Cyrus and your, the rest of the people who are in your group uh, form up, are completely prepared for the attack that comes in. Uh, you take out the scouts that they had, that they had sent forward uh, to watch you, and then uh, do a pincer movement and take out the entire enemy patrol uh, extremely deftly. Uh, Cyrus... Am I wielding Karnas sword in this trip? You... Hold on. <laughs> No, okay. you aren't holding Karnath's uh, twin. Um, however, you do see uh, someone else in your group uh-huh. wielding a sword in the same manner. And you're seeing that when he's cutting people, um, the cuts that he's receiving are healing. And it wasn't something that your uh, consciousness was aware of at the time. So he is wielding a blade similar to Karnath's twin. Um, and Which that person's Karnath's twin. Yeah. <laughs> That's Karnath's twin, Karnath's That's twin. the one we need. We need the one that heals. Dude, I will. Dual wheel. Uh, yeah. What if <laughs> that's the only thing that'll heal us? Is this a slash me? <laughs> Bertio. Um, gives back constitution. That person's name is Bertio. And he did finish the, the war and uh, moved up north. <clears throat> okay, how, do I know how far? Uh, when you last spoke with him... He said that he was going to retire to Kralia. Kralia? Yeah. How do you spell uh, it? C-R-A-L-E-A-H. Okay. It's by Creighton uh, Stronghold on the north side of the bay. So, um, no, yeah, so he was wielding a sword that looked like it did something similar to Kralia's twin. Does it look like it? It looks like it. Okay. okay. And uh, Cyrus, uh, after the battle, he had never really like opened up about what he was like beforehand, but he begins talking about um, his wife and his daughter that he left behind. Okay. And so you now know that he probably has a widowed wife and a daughter, um, and that he is from... <clears throat> I'll roll pers- persuasion against you. Uh, he is I'm from the me. stronghold of Barad Oroth. No, I'm rolling okay. against you. Bro. And uh, he also uh, mentions that uh, if he ever was able to get back to Barad Oroth, that he would uh, get the ring that his father had given him um, and give it to his wife. Okay. And that ring is known to have some type of magical property, but he didn't take it with him because he didn't want Thu, the kingdom of Thuhi to confiscate all of the magic items. Okay, so that's that's ring. Yeah. So if it's okay, thank you. And that is things that you know about Cyrus. Okay. So if it's a okay. thing that and that is things that you know, or maybe this is true. Maybe it's just a product of the hallucination, but if if the battle did go as it did, and you were able to get this information, then this could be something that you could use in the real Yeah, no, okay. <clears throat> so, and so Cyrus died in that battle? Cyrus died in that battle, so he would have never told you about the magic ring or about his wife and daughter. I spend the rest of the night talking to 
well, I don't know what Avengers gonna do, but I'd be like, dude, do you think this is for real? <laughs> do you think that guy, that book is really there? Do you yes, think? Yes, I know for a fact it is. So you think my friend Cyrus has a magical ring? Where is it? Uh, he explains exactly where it's buried outside Barrett Orath, and he gives a very specific set of directions. Yeah. Um, and you remember them. Which, do you really think a magical ring? Because <laughs> we could have a Frodo situation. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you remember that after taking a drug, I mean, the drug kind of like creates a flashback of something that you experienced and forgot. So I'm sure it's, it's legit. Yeah. I think it's the real deal. It's like the limitless pill. The limitless pill? <laughs> yeah. Um, you gotta take the. I don't go tell Martha. Uh, I'm gonna go see the priest. Uh, Do I have a headache? Um, I have to go see the uh, priest. No. Side effects? No. no. It, it, Slightly depressed it, afterwards. It fades and it, it leaves you feeling kind of like. <clears throat> like. kind of resolved that you had those moments. Just like something that. It's, it, it's something that kind of. Buoys you up a little bit. It's like uh, what is that that thing they do the ayahuasca, like the that South American. Like Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to see the priestess now. Oh, Martha, you need to take. I want to hear what oh, yeah, Benji yeah, yeah. says. <laughs> or Benji says. Are you talking about going on a trip like with a spirit guide or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That's what they you yeah, gotta take your mushrooms. Hey, Martha, <laughs> this could be. This could yeah. solve so many. Obviously, you've got some the, the, some past. This might solve a lot of things. I we I want to share with you. I don't share. Uh, I don't share vendors' stories to share that himself. But I tell her everything, and so we've been friends for a while now, at least. And I tell you about Cyrus, and there's this ring, and look, a vendor for his he's super chill, but he knows what he's talking about when it comes to magic stuff. Actually, you know magic. I ask you, do you think this is legit? Am I present for this conversation? Yeah. I want you to convince her to take her. I want to hear what it says. You got the text? Same way Amber does. She takes it. Probably. Oh, uh, Amber says it? She's watching right now? Oh, no. She, I'm, I told her what I'm doing via text, and she said... That she's gonna take the Reaper and the Shroom. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. And she's and in a room happens. by herself. Oh, see what happens. Amber, that is very irresponsible. <laughs> there is nobody there. I was gonna show you the text silently, but I thought that everyone would get a kick out of that. She's gonna do both of them at once. <laughs> I will. Um, uh, I will. I will message Amber what happens. So that she can have that. And I, I assume she chooses to fail both saves and just takes whatever that is, whatever happens with both. Okay. Come on, you gotta take it, Martha. Ooh, she's this taking is, it. She's taking this it. Is she this is beyond, this is magical. She's taking it. Yes. Okay. Defender. Full dose. I, can I tell you guys what I actually uh, got in mind? You should go see the should, Yeah, we talked about it. I didn't okay. want to tell you. I didn't want to tell her yours, but oh, I, and I, I tell Martha my my vision. <clears throat> all right, all right. So Martha, you're taking it, yeah. and you choose to fail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I I'll going to do? This? <laughs> if we have time, I'll be. I'll take the full dose. Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> okay, so if we're just all doing this. What would have happened if we would have taken the full dose? For um, Hannah. <laughs> just the whole thing. Oh, all at once? I, well, I assume. I don't know. If you, it was, <laughs> you stay in the past for a minute. Yeah. You're just you, like, <laughs> you come back and you're like four days of, maybe that's where Thrawn is. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we find him. That's where we find him in the past. Just so that, just Wait, the, back to the no, future. No, no. He's just in like a field of these mushrooms. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's all strong because he had yeah. eight and like... Uh, so, uh, oh, 20 days. Oh, 20 days. Martha, so you uh, see in your uh, vision. Vision. Uh, you are in the court at Row Tower and uh, are there with, uh, with Eldith, your grandmother. And um, the. How old is she? 
Uh, and you are, uh, as you were in your memory at that time, um, when you were 16, uh, and they are moving around among the other uh, uh, ladies in, in court at your age. Uh, you are uh, looking around and, and talking, and comes to the realization that the, the entire area around you is about to be... Uh, you go down and systematically categorize everybody who is around you based on what they are dealing with and uh, are moving now with what you have been looking for in, in the current time. You're now using that opportunity to begin moving among them and asking questions and hearing their answers. And um, when it comes to Lorinda Halnaf, uh, who is a distant relative of yours, but is further back from being part of the crown itself in uh, Row Tower. Um, you recognize that Lorinda has been plotting something uh, to get rid of you and a couple of other uh, ladies in waiting so that her... You were a lady in waiting? Her line can be, uh... <laughs> oh, so her backstory is leaking out. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you want me to stop back in this message? Okay, so, um... You were actually a boy, and then... <laughs> um, you, awesome. you recognize, uh, there is a, 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 a court wizard, uh, who is very, uh, he, he is kind of, uh servient to uh, the ruling family, but also appears to have been uh, used by Lorinda to create uh, a concoction that will uh, that will do things to the people that it, that, it, that you have experienced in your life. Um, and it was okay, so uh, Lorinda and that wizard, uh, uh, was known as uh, Mathamelon. Uh, M A T H A M E L O N. So Mathamelon was uh, the one who actually did the act. And uh, that ended up being something that um, Eldith uh, died to, and um, that you suffered from as well. And uh, the person who was up to the task was Lorinda Halnath. You you haven't been up in that area, so you don't know exactly what their whereabouts are, or even if they're still alive. But um, the the entire experience gave you the opportunity to go among and perform this investigation in a very rapid manner because you already know the questions you want to ask and the names of the people that you're looking for. So um, you have deduced that from your uh, investigation in the mushroom trip. <laughs> what are we going to name this episode during the recording. Uh, you could just text me. The second right. open. The second open. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all want to hear it. Oh, uh, okay. Don't, uh, don't take this away from us. No, I was just trying to move it along. Like, that happened. <laughs> sure. I mean, this now is... Now we're trying to move the story along. We are. Uh, fine. I moved, I moved a bunch of story along. This is perfect. <laughs> this is Dungeon story. Master, I am telling uh, no part of the story. It is all your guys' story. Oh, yeah, look at so that. So, that is... How we are working. That's the company this. line. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am just a traveler among this world yeah. to be fellow storytellers. Uh, so, Amir, you You're choose to fail as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, picking up where. Uh, can I? Can I like? I don't know how long it takes it to uh, digest, but I would like to start a trance, like right after I eat it. Oh, go into And then choose to fail. <laughs> Got it, okay. Uh, so, you're not exactly sure what the 
time is from when it will start affecting you to when right. you go in a trance. So you're in your in your mind thinking, okay, I'm now going to a trance, and that's when the room starts uh, expanding around okay. you, and um, you so, uh, find you yourself uh, dancing with uh, dancing. The oh, the, the you're so pretty. Yes, <laughs> the real Laura. You are a lady. <laughs> Maybe um, you were. <laughs> Larilla, Laura, and Wait, you are, was me. <laughs> are both dancing uh, and are, are under the, the light of the moon. Um, you're both wearing, uh, you have the mud all over you. and Mud? Do I feel like any sort of way about her or knowing that this happened in the past? She's saying get like, to the chopper. Is she still alive? Get like, to the chopper. Uh, Likely still alive. You haven't seen her in many years. Right, I haven't been back for a Reason to live, man. But right. the, uh, so, I mean, a lot could happen in the century. So she uh, and you, um, during the dance, uh, she, the, uh, the experience uh, is, is kind of surreal because you remember it, but it's been a very dark path that you have Follow, followed since that time, so to have these these memories and these feelings is very confusing, and uh, the I'd say even painful maybe probably slightly painful, um, yeah, and not a good trip. The <laughs> you you so kill me when he wakes up. At that time, um, both of you separated and uh, went back after dancing to. Uh, back to the village, um, but instead you take this opportunity and uh, make love in the moonlight oh, nice. to to uh, so Lara it's, Lara. It's, Lara, a, Lara. it's a super bad trip then. Uh, and Ooh, why? <laughs> because like I didn't remember all this. Now you have a kid, and now I have like these. <laughs> you uh, so you you. Um, are there and uh, are and now after everything is all said and done, um, you uh, look over at her and uh, you see um, her her entire countenance has now uh, aged slightly. And now she appears as though she had aged a century, and uh, standing at her side is a son who is about a uh, hundred and so he's still five years old. Oh, so he's not even a kid anymore. It's not even a kid. He's and, like a grown, uh, grown elf. You see, uh, like, he has very similar features to him. He has the same eye color as you. And, um, he's probably not your kid. He... <laughs> yeah. Papa <laughs> said he was he going to... Papa yeah, said he was going after somebody. He never came back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, so you, you aren't exactly sure how to take this because if this was something that happened in the past, but this is a memory that you didn't actually, that, that time you separated, yeah. you're not sure if this is just showing you something that could have been, or... Plus his mind, he feels that his mind's already splintered so much that he doesn't even know. Right. But to know that you're capable of having children... Uh, that kind of realization has come over you that there especially is a, after surgery there, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a, a, a place uh, in the future if you wanted to pursue that path that is something that you now have so Amir has early onset of dementia oh mm -hmm. <laughs> right if you want to stop <laughs> killing people at some point and have a family <laughs> uh, and uh, Laura Lalera even a century later still looks mighty fine Oh, and she was uh, completely washed at the last one, so there was no mud on her. It was a very vulnerable oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that culturally speaking, that that's a no-no. Yeah. 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 So. Or you only show the one that is yours that. There is uh, something significant about that. Okay. And I will message Riven hers. <laughs> oh, man. you! I cannot wait to hear <laughs> She's not going to tell her. She won't tell her. That's what I'm... I really hope she does. So, now that all of you have spent 
Uh, uh, Hopefully not two hours. It hasn't been two hours. It's it's probably getting to the point where people are going to start filling up the auditorium where the Priestess of Sune is going to show up. But the Blade uh, Dancer, her act is over. Um, Probably about 10 o'clock. You still have half hour to an hour before the Priestess of Sune arrives to do her. The Vengeance thing was Uh, on walk, right? What's that? It was, it was, it was the Reagan stuff up north? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was going to go back to Hannah and say, uh, I'm going to try to get some more information on the Sounds Roll of the Red. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I go up to her and, hey, could you tell me a little bit more about this uh, Roll of the Red guy? Oh, well, uh, he's a... Uh... <clears throat> uh, make a... Nope. Persuasion check. All right. Sure negative one. For She's going to walk away. <laughs> Uh, 11. Nice. Uh, just, that uh, needed to not be loved. So, uh, Rolo, uh, one of the wizards here. Oh, wait, you were with, uh, with Benjen. Yes. Right? She, I was, guys. Does uh, she yes. blush? Uh, <clears throat> she does not blush. She is a oh, professional. She's too classy about that. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, so if you're looking for Rolo, um, I still haven't seen him, but there are multiple floors. Um, it could be that he's on any one of those. Uh, so all you need to do is look for. Uh, he's a human. Human. Uh, he is in his thirtieth, I believe, thirty-something winters. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And he has uh, a very uh, fine beard. It's uh, it's his brown hair. It's uh, it comes to just below the shoulders. Um, the nice thick beard. Um, but uh, again, he does wear. Uh, he's the only one who I've seen wear a completely red outfit. And Do you know what school of magic he practices, by any chance? <laughs> I don't know anything about those types of things. You know his birthday? So scary, you know, uh, <laughs> we did celebrate his birthday uh, last year. I believe it fell uh, somewhat. You know what? He might have just been saying that to get. Uh, a free drink, and uh, I would not put that past him. We've actually celebrated oh. four times this year. <laughs> Those mushrooms you gave us, good stuff. Oh, you... I took some. Try... Oh! What were they called again? Oh, uh, it's uh, a, a Bloom Shroud. Bloom Shroud. Writing that down. Definitely need more of that by the pound. What? Get the dealer. Get the... Uh, I mean, not the dealer. Where, where can I... Uh, Go to acquire more of this uh, bloom uh, shroud. I don't know if uh, if you've had a conversation with Benjamin yet, but um, our uh, our kid uncle is the one who might be able to get you. This, this is Ivan. Like, this is okay. this is. Yep. Yeah. You're, he you said were right. You don't speak, you don't speak <laughs> thieves' kid. No. <laughs> so you like, you're what? She's like. <laughs> she's like mm. So. Uh, our kid uncle should be able to point you in that direction. He's like, what kind of incest oh, is going on here? Uncle. Okay. <laughs> sure went my guy. knew it. Yep. Yeah, it, it was the item. Yep. No, no this small pouch isn't it. She just said All right, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Oh, if it is, then I don't know what to tell you. Technically, they don't know how much is in the pouch, so you still no, have no, uh, it, it, As you're walking away, she says, Oh, and if you're going to go to the rat's table, um, <coughs> make sure that you bet on uh, lucky number seven. Rat's table, is that the casino game, I'm assuming? Oh, yes, yes. It's all the way across. Okay. Um, rat's table. Is that all it takes for somebody to understand, like, oh, he doesn't speak? Is that all it takes? Or is that, that was like a test phrase and he just bombed it. He's like, is yeah, that like, like a, a game? <laughs> yeah. Like, Can we uh, make some kind of insight check on that? Like, yeah, go ahead and figure out what he's talking about. And I will roll something here. Uh, oh, oh. I, did, I did pretty well. Um, 18. Oh, oh nice. she's speaking uh, French. You're speaking English. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, she might be referring to one of the games on the far side of the casino. Okay. Rat, rats, what? Rats table. <laughs> rats table. Rats table. Rat lucky table. number seven. Uh, okay. Uh, can I? I'm, I'm gonna. I guess I start walking over in that direction. Sure. To this rats table. Yeah. So there's a there's a lot of people moving uh, in and out through the the floor. The casino floor here on the the first floor. Ooh, you did tell me that. And um, uh, while you're yeah, walking, a, a woman uh, who's probably slightly younger than you, uh, wearing much less clothing than you, uh, comes over. And, uh, uh, are you uh, looking for any company this evening? Sure. 
Well, uh, what table are you going to be playing at? I'd like to bring you a drink. I will be playing at the rat's table. The, uh, the rat's table? Yeah, it's just you this... You got the window down. Um, what is rat's table? I don't know. It's on there. It's on You know, I'll, just, I'll be over here oh, at the casino the, table. The, the, where they race the animals in the back. Oh! Is, yeah, yes, that's it. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. Well, uh, I don't know if they have rats, but uh, there are... Uh, these small... F- well, anyways, yeah, so yeah, you'll, you'll be back now. I'll bring you a drink then. Sure, sounds good. All right, she walks, wanders yeah. off uh, and uh, it's a very slinky uh, walk hard. away. And just uh-huh. the hips swaying and everything. <laughs> so, uh, you were making your way over towards where she had gestured to the rodents race place, eh? Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, like, one more time it, before we even go a hundred steps to, over in that direction, uh, another person bumps into you and asks you if you're looking for company in the evening. Uh, yeah. no, we're yeah, not. Of course. I just, uh, I just got, I just, I ordered a drink. I, I'm, I'm on my way to the state. Thank you very much. All right, all right. And as you walk away, she, she slaps you on the butt. <laughs> oh, it's like one of those. So you make your way to where there is a glass table. Uh, if it was a gnome, they just like credit card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. It's like up here, though. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the table itself has a uh, like a uh, domed glass that goes over the top of it, so that everyone who's standing around on the sides can see. Uh, there is a labyrinthine like maze from one end that goes all the way to the end mm-hmm. on the other side. Um, there is a slot where they raise it, and um, these uh, these animals that they're not rats. They they look like miniature like uh, hamster sized bears, and <laughs> they they look like like miniature bears that are running through this thing and. They start on the one side and they open the slots and all of them go through. Um, they all have a different uh, identifying marker that has been painted on their backs. And um, one of them makes it finally to the other end. And. Uh, oh my god, that's, that's too much. The, 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 it's oh, wow. a sure thing, bro. We don't know that. The, 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 I saw it in the They get to the trip. end. <laughs> um, they call out the winner and everyone's cheering and uh, there's a couple of people who are looking like very like oh I just bet I just lost my house the rest of my money on that I just lost it all so there's people who are losing there's people who are winning and um, <laughs> there are different types of wages like you can uh, place it on how how long it takes for the winner to actually find the end etc um, but there's just different ways that you can gamble and, and bet at the table. And there is one of them that is named Lucky Number 7. Alright, um, who's the guy that takes all the bets? What's that job called? The bookie. Bookie, yeah. yeah. I, gotta, I tell the bookie, hey, 300 gold on Lucky Number 7. 300 gold on Lucky Number 7, okay, we've got... Uh, five is gonna be, and he's, he's yeah. grabbing uh, uh, the coins from everybody and making them... Is he gonna like triple up, quadruple? The, uh, so... They usually tell you that. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him the bookie, like, hey, what have you got? Uh, well, Lucky Number 7 has been uh, kind of behind tonight, so it's, uh, currently we've got uh, 5 to 1 odds uh, winning uh, against Lucky Number 7, so uh, he good, really will be able to get 5 uh, pounds your whole rate uh, back to you, so... You know, I feel kind of lucky tonight, so I'll bet a 1,000. Oh, <laughs> oh right, very well. Lucky like Number 7 a 1,000 gold. And he's, he's going through, and there's, uh, there's, a, there's a whole group of people behind him who are all taking names and uh, the wages, so they're, they're very organized, they have all the funds together. And if you uh, they if, <laughs> if you want, if I want. <laughs> they take uh, they take your bet. They take several other people's bets. Uh, is there anybody else who's also gambling, or is anybody else, everybody is all there? We're all poor, uh, her now <laughs> except the vendor. Yeah. 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 Right, you guys are like you got good seats. I'm gonna hang out with the vendor there to make sure he's not alone. There's I um, guilty about that last time. There's a yeah. couple of men who are dressed up there who look like they are here just. To try and gain the favors of the priestess of Sune, and they keep talking about how beautiful the priestess is. They just wait till you see this priestess. You're but does it really work? Oh yeah, yeah, she's amazing. I just uh, inside check. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Twenty-one. So, uh, he appears like he is somewhat enamored. 
with the high priestess, but is also telling the truth as far as her ability to heal people. Okay. So she's not a charlatan, she's like an actual real deal. Uh, at means. least this person believes that. So, the... <laughs> Uh, so, the, they line up these tiny bear creatures and have them all in their slots, ready to go. They grab Good them choice. This is awesome. And they, they, they like, they're like adorable. They're these little tiny bears. And <laughs> they pull them out one at a time and they're like, ah, their pods are pores. And they, they have like that. these gloves that are like made out of chain mail and then they pick them up so that when the bears oh, are like, I thought the bears finger, had... No. Chain no gloves. <laughs> no, no, so no. The, the bears like bite at their hand or whatever. The bears are armored and just bite them. <laughs> no, that's at a different table. Uh, so, the, uh, they, they put them all in the end and they got them all in their different sections and they, they he shout, he counts it off and everyone counts with them. The five, four, three, two, one. Roll, that's right. And they open it up and uh, they, the maze, uh, the walls have uh, shifted around, so it's a different maze every time that they play. You get the feel that it's some type of arcane magic that they have used to uh, allow this to be a different experience every time. Mm -hmm. And you're watching, and I'm going to roll for these different beasts. Wait, they don't, they don't get to attack each other, or maybe if you roll low, one's just like, I don't even yeah. care about the maze. He could, could be rolling bad. Easy rolling. What happens if you give animals the mushroom? <laughs> oh, man. Now exactly. you're thinking like a DM. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need you to roll yeah. a D6. Yeah. D6. Yeah, right. tell me what number you got. got. <laughs> it's six. loaded. Oh, D6. <laughs> Regular dice. It's just three. Pops. Three? Yeah. Okay, like so. Uh, you are watching this entire experience uh, where all of these animals are moving along through the side and you see lucky number seven lagging behind and gets caught in one area and it keeps going back and forth and back and forth and then there's one that is running ahead uh, and it's name six knuckle, I see. is uh, is, yes. <laughs> is fire claw and fire claw is moving its way all the way up to the front and then suddenly it starts backtracking over this way and um, lucky number seven uh, moves past all of the other ones and goes kind of in a straight line following the scent of the first one that was going up to the front and when it gets to where that other one had moved off into a dead end uh, it instead makes the correct course uh, told you and it gets to the, to the front of the, uh, the area and it, it walks out the door and uh, everyone begins cheering. Your lucky number seven has won first place. Should have, you should have bet two thousand gold, like I said. I don't oh, know. What, what was the dice roll for me, though? What was it roll? five to one? I, yeah, it was five to one. Yes, he made five thousand. Made five thousand gold uh, right now. You are the richest person I know. <laughs> so is it five thousand on top of the thousand I bet, or five thousand total? It is five thousand total. total. Okay. You made four um, K, man. I rolled. That's like eight thousand pastries. <laughs> I More. rolled a six yeah. die for how they would finish. So that's my monetary. <laughs> and then I had you roll for which number that you picked, and you picked the winning number with your d6 roll. Wow. All right. Wow. Way to go, so dude. It was not only randomized on my end, it was randomized on your end. No. Jeez. This no, is no. skill. RP. <laughs> RP was a sure thing. Oh it's skill, gosh. dude. You gotta go again. Double up. Where's the fine lady with my drink? You could. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> that's yes, yes. three girls bringing them drinks yeah. now, man. As, as soon as the money is given to you, the woman shows up uh -huh. with uh, a glass of elven fire wine. Nice. How did and she know? Hey, babe, he said it earlier. How indeed oh. <laughs> did she know? Wink, wink. She's and, only up for the. Uh, uh, she yeah. <laughs> she brings the drink over and, and she uh, latches onto your arm, puts her arm through your arm. Oh, that was amazing! Congratulations. So, uh, what are we gonna play next? Are you gonna do another one? Hmm? Uh, no, I think I'll. Uh, oh, how would you? How about you? How would you like yeah, to join me? <laughs> And, uh, yeah, She's a I give you a, a generous tip. I gave her like fifteen gold. <laughs> of course, Ooh. yes, yes. So, uh, she definitely pockets it. Hey, ho, oh, oh, ho, hey, hey, whoa! I am there. I am. Benjamin, <laughs> not. Oh, or did you follow him? He, no, he was. And so I look. I feel kind of guilty that my buddy, like, uh, he's a drug addict now because of me. But 
that love him. He's my friend, and so I do want to watch out for him. And I know he doesn't care. Honestly, if somebody picked his pocket, he wouldn't care about the money. He'd be the principal. So I do want to watch her, this girl, um, mm-hmm. to make sure she's not brushing. Sure, go ahead and roll an insight check. Go ahead. Your back. My enormous dice. <laughs> Oh, no, we get you knew about it. Uh, they did sh- mention, right? That's she, what happens when you metagame, guys. It you know? looks, <laughs> she looks like she is really only interested in staying around people yeah, who course. are making money. Yep. She's getting a lot of them. A, a vendor probably knows this as well. So yep. When he hands her 15 gold and she laughs and uh, gives him a kiss on the cheek. It takes uh, 50, 50 more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, with that role, I'm like, ah, he's okay. He's a big kid. <laughs> like, you have just, like... I, uh, I just watched him make 4,000 gold. I'm like, he is a <laughs> so I just want to make sure he's safe. <laughs> he looks like he's safe. So, um, he's gonna uh, have what are you going to do for the remainder of the evening, Avenger? Oh, not... Uh, oh, Go spend your gold, man. Not on the town. Oh, are you looking for uh, Rolo? Mm, not really. I guess I could just go see him tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> now that you've made all that money. Yeah. Makes so, sense. So I taught. I asked the girl, uh, "What it, uh, you know? What's your name?" And uh, <laughs> this is what you do full time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you come here often. <laughs> This is my All first time, around. show me a good time, please. She, she <laughs> says, uh, well, I, I don't normally tell men my real name, but for you, I'll tell you my you name is Isa. Fool. That is oh, a lie. What's your name? Isa. Isa. Can I make an inside check on that? That's yeah. Cool I will also roll. Oh. She's probably the best person. Three minus there. one. Yep. Two. <laughs> a two total. Oh, I'm sorry. Three plus two is five. There you go. So I looked at Charisma for a second. It, like, it seems like she gets vulnerable with you for a second and opens oh, up and oh. gives you her real name. Uh, she's a, she's a brusher that's going to get something new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <And> <laughs> He's going to uh, wake up, bro. She, she tells you just a little bit about uh, how um, she grew up and... Uh, oh, she's trying to marry him. And that's what it has is. Uh, <laughs> so been... Bad. She's been living here for a few years now, but that she was originally from a city on the coast on the Freeland side. Uh, yeah, she's a cop. She, she's um, a cop. She's a cop. <laughs> she's a cop. <laughs> Did you ask her if you, she's a cop? But she, she continues to ask questions about you instead oh my, of making it about her. So she's. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know what he has. Actually. She says that she's from that. Beshi, the city of miracles, okay. and uh, that. Uh, She's and, vice. And you have like the hint <laughs> yeah. of, like there's a hint of an accent, but you can't quite place it with her. Hint um, of cop accent. She keeps using the word like me. jurisdiction. Yeah. And, that's law. Yeah. You know. <laughs> if you're a cop, you gotta tell me. That's law. <laughs> if I ask you, you have to say it. So um, she so keeps asking you questions about yours. I don't know how much, oh, how open you want to be with uh, your uh, own. I have a cover story. I'm, I'm saying like I'm a business. Uh, I'm a entrepreneur. Yeah, business entrepreneur here. Start a tech firm. He's a baker. Uh, <laughs> we're just passing through this town, and uh, we, we thought we'd <clears> he's not looking for nothing serious, etc. Etc. Uh, et well, et she does. Uh, she does a good job. Uh, she laughs at all of your jokes uh-huh. um, at all the right times, even. <laughs> and uh, she she, she asks you questions that are uh, genuinely interesting. Like they, she she'll keep asking you like. Oh, what what is the nature of your business that you do, and uh, what is it this? And so you're you're giving her all the answers that you have for your cover story, um, but uh, she's uh, she seems genuinely interested in you. Uh, Just remember your lies. Yeah, I, know. I tell her I'm like a, an arms merchant, and I sell oh. like uh, magical uh, arms. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I sell I'm magical I'm weapons. Sort of big deal. Sort of a big deal. Uh, yeah, it's for uh, it's prosthetics. It's a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, just, just let them know. There's yeah. a there's a clip of Pennywise in the new It movie where he's waving with the little boy's arm he stole. Oh, That's what I'm thinking. Now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Side note. The priestess. Oh. Yeah. So she she begins to explain that she also uh, works at the temple of Sune as an acolyte there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. And that if you're interested in the show, that the priestess is uh, very 
helpful and is uh, it's a really good show to see. Uh, um, all right, cool. I'll, I'll, how how much time do I have until the show starts? It's going to start in about fifteen minutes, and they have been a, they have a seat up towards the front yeah. where the the gentleman who you've spoken with who like. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really want to speak like, to that guy. Like you got up and like moved over into another area. He he says that this front area is normally if people uh, want to personally be visited by the priestess. Then, yeah, then, 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 we, then we stay there. Yeah, yeah. Then we stay. Coughing. I just want well, like, her to sit next to them and mm-hmm. then me. Got it. Martha's a buff. Because Martha looks scary. <laughs> So is it, old I ask Ozzy, are you part of the yeah, show? Are you being an acolyte of the, the priestess of Zen? Oh no, I've just been a, a worshiper for some time, so it's uh, it's 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 just a pleasure for me to be able to see uh, Sune's graces at work. Cool. All right, well I'm gonna go watch the show now. We can do whatever you'd like. Yeah, you want to come with us and watch the show? Oh, that would be amazing. She follows you and uh, has her arm within your arm. He, uh, so he's still safe. <clears throat> He appears still safe. Are yeah, you doing I'm, anything else while he is? Uh, not with my one. He, uh, <laughs> you're still enjoying yourself. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, uh, like any of the tables around. Are you going to be? Me? The, no, I'm poor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've already, already spent the party's gold. Yeah, the only <laughs> people with gold, uh, she's taking the trip of her life. And <laughs> this guy is just. Well, yeah. she's a priestess of Zune, or an acolyte of the priestess of Zune, so she seems fairly. Trustworthy to me at the moment. If you need to roll an insight, you should be able to find I did, I did roll an insight. How'd I, you do? Uh, I failed. Oh, okay. So <laughs> for now, wait. She's, she's trustworthy. She's, she's opened up with me. Um, so there is one uh, that looks. Uh, <laughs> there is. Uh, it's kind of like darts, but with axes. So it's an axe toss, and uh, there is a panel on the wall, so you can place bets against other ones to throw axes. Um, there is dice throwing. There is a game called Cards of Fate. Uh, there is a drinking contest uh, in the the. There's a bar area, um, and there is a center area where the they have two platforms set up, and there's two tables, and on it are just all of these shot glasses, and they keep filling the glasses more and more as the drinking contest goes on. And the one dwarf that you saw enter the establishment is seated at the table against a human, and you see that there are two other humans who are lying on the floor, uh, just like passed out, who this dwarf has apparently, people are placing bets to see how far this dwarf can go before. Oh, okay. How many humans- Is that the dwarf that walked in? Yeah, it's the dwarf that walked in with the flowing robes and everything. <clears throat> he's just lying down like... And he is, well, he is fine. Oh, he's just sitting up. He's a human. And he's, he's cracking jokes and making fun of the humans that are, that are there at that point. So, um, <clears throat> the uh, show, uh, the, 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 the auditorium where this is all taking place, it's on the second floor. So when you go up to the second floor, it has it more sectioned off, and there is a large... Um, theater-like area where the the doors um, have curtains over it, so that you can you can draw the curtains when the show starts. Um, and it's uh, in that area where you have these uh, priests and priestesses or worshippers of Sune who are there, um, and they are all just flawless-looking people, like. No scarring, no any, like, there's no, nothing about their appearance. It seems almost too perfect when you see these people. And they're all there, and they're helping people find their seats, and... How full is the... Uh, it is now getting uh, filled up. So when you arrive, uh, you're looking for them, and uh, you... Seats tight. You do find them at the front, and they have saved uh, three seats. Because uh, we knew they were They weren't coming. sure Riven would be coming. And they... Oh, okay. So have guys, this is Isaac. Isaac, this is, 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 is uh, Martha, Mir, and Benjamin. Oh, okay. Hello, I'm Isa. And she introduces herself to all of you. And uh, she uh, sits down next to a vendor. And uh, is like... Uh, 
massaging his, his arm and his hand all the sitting there waiting for the show. The I'm taking time. no time. Uh, step okay. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, oh yeah. So the should have bet. She doesn't know that much. Like I own totally. I mean, she just, I don't have any idea. Like, oh, she, she uh, yeah, it looks girl. like she is uh, not only a gold digger, but a beautiful gold digger. Right. Yeah. A <laughs> beautiful doctor <laughs> who is trying to. Uh, she, she seems more like a, a leech based on this establishment. Like she doesn't work here. She has no affiliation with this place. She's just going uh, from successful. She's got like five kids at home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Which with at fifteen gold. Yep. They're going to be eating oh. just fine for a little Yeah, ramen for a month. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you make it to, uh, <laughs> to the point where um, everybody who's been helping out the show, uh, they move up towards the center stage and uh, they, they all sit on the floor uh, cross-legged facing each other inside a circle and everyone's watching this all happen. Um, the lights uh, that were like a torch light um, and, and like a white and yellow color uh, flare into a pink and purple throughout the, uh, the entirety of this auditorium. Um, and you can now hear that the, the people who are sitting cross-legged on the floor in the center, uh, they're all chanting something. And it appears to be a prayer. And... Uh, the floor opens uh, up and there is this white light and this woman uh, steps out of the light and comes onto the stage and the light extinguishes and she is there and you see uh, one of the most beautiful woman, human woman that you have ever experienced. <laughs> There's a there's experience a, you're describing. Uh, uh, Contrast uh, is so funny. It's, uh, this, she has uh, this curly, long <clears throat> red hair, uh, and she is dressed in a very flowy gown, oh, and uh, it, and um, uh, uh, after she steps onto the stage, uh, the other acolytes all. Uh, uh, wink out of existence. They all disappear at once, and they're standing before you. Just a single uh, woman who has uh, a, a holy symbol, um, other than her dress, and appears to be the only thing that she is wearing. It has uh, the the uh, symbol of Sume. Hold on. Is what, it, what is who here? is that priest or that god? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Well, let me read it for you. Sune, the goddess of love and beauty. Uh, the domains are life and light. And, uh, Why would the, she be here? The symbol has a face of a beautiful red-haired woman. It doesn't make sense. Huh? So it looks like it strange, yeah. she almost has on a symbol of of her own face, but there are she's going to convert the gambler features. Yeah, <clears throat> she, she's going to the cesspool. I'm not a I'm not a particularly religious individual, but um, why does it seem? I, I ask um, the vendors, BFF. Um, Isaac. 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 Uh, <laughs> why would she? Doesn't it seem a little weird that, that the priestess of of Sune would Becoming here. Well, seems we, a little bit blasphemous, no? We, uh, we all are in need of uh, Sunni's love and grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, uh, and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. But really, I mean, doesn't it seem a little bit strange? I mean, you've been here a while, I mean, There's a number of different towns to. You, there's a number of different people to save. <laughs> There are, uh, so in the places you've been, like normally uh, worshippers of Sunni are kind of their own little thing. They have smaller meeting houses. For this place to have that like as their main temple, their main religion, um, is not 
normal by yeah. any means. Normally it'll be like Shanti yeah. or Saloon or you know any any number of regular more regular deities where it appears that it would be beneficial for the populace to receive those types of blessings. Can I make a, an insight check on Isa's answer to make see if she's like BSing or not? Sure. Or? Yeah. Go ahead. Roll an insight check. Uh, Fifteen plus seventeen. Uh, so she appears to be um, completely enamored with the idea of that you. Suni is, <laughs> uh, is here and is represented here in this uh, city. So okay. um, she looks like a, a fanatical uh, worshiper of Suni. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hard to describe why, but um, the people there uh, are all cheering and uh, are laughing. Um, the woman uh, walks among the crowd, and, uh, and, and as she gets closer to you, um, you feel this overpowering sense of peace and comfort come over you, uh, something that is uh, divine in nature that is coming from this priestess. And um, when she walks within you, within the area around you, you feel emboldened and like any type of restraints, like if like social restraints or other or otherwise, kind of diminish, and you feel like you could do anything while you are around this woman. What was her name? Uh, she uh, introduces herself uh, by saying, "My children, as priestess Halartha of Sune, I am here for you, my children." I am here to bring Sune's grace among you, to bring you peace, to bring you comfort, to bring you joy. And so, are there any among you who are in need of any further correction? Are, you, are, are there any infirm? Are there any who have been stricken with blindness or deafness? Bring them forward and I will see to them. And uh, there is a, uh, a, a little girl who brings forward her, uh, an aged man, and he's walking with, uh, with a cane, and when she goes over by him, um, she, says, she says to the little girl, who's this you brought here with you, little one? She says, it's my grandpapa. It's uh, his leg. It's been, it's been bad for, uh, since uh, he was... Does he smell? He was passing the... <laughs> We're in the front <laughs> row. I'll make a... I'll make a... I'll make a, I'll make a, I'll make a oh, you're so weird. 21. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have, like... He doesn't have yeah. a gangrene smell. He's kind of like just a general old person smell oh. coming off of him. Uh, like, kind of like, un, like, like unbrushed teeth, you know, like... Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll hold her <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a coffee smell that's coming off him. Um, he, uh, he he's there. He's got his uh, his cane, and uh, she she reaches her hand underneath his chin, and is completely uh, like you as a person seeing this beautiful woman, kind of feel like it's a crime that she is touching something so. Uh, frail and so who, who feels that way? Uh, everyone who is within 25 oh, okay. feet of her. Yeah. Which is all of you. And uh, like it, in a threatening way? Like I need uh, to No, word. like <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How dare you problem solve? Yeah, no, uh Let like get rid of this film. It just it, it, to there. you it feels like that kind of that kind of perfection next to something that is so imperfect uh, seems wrong to you. Um and uh, and and she and she reaches uh, underneath his chin and, and touches him and uh, he straightens up and uh, jumps in the air and clicks his heels together and oh, oh, my legs are back. Yeah. and uh, uh, as soon as he walks out of twenty five feet oh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> the, the little girl uh, laughs and claps and uh, takes him and they, they run out of the hall together. Can I make an arcana check on that? Sure. Something's yeah. yeah. wrong about this. Skeptical. Uh, 18. 18. Yeah. There's some type of magic that's going on that's divine in nature. Uh, 
you're not sure if what she just did was cast a spell, though. Because normally there's some type of prayer involved when it's oh, divine based magic. Um, but, I mean, you haven't ever been to... Oh, I look for my credit card. She does, <laughs> she does the fist on the face and I push it on the back. I ask Isa, what, so what, 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 I, I, what does she do exactly? Do, are you feeling ill or is there anything uh, wrong with you? She Martha raises her hand. Oh, okay. Martha. She's oh, Martha, have her, have her heal your... <clears throat> your uh, your ugly face. That's what he wants to say. That's what you wanted to say. I sort of go like this. Uh, so there is kind of like a line that's starting to form. Do you want to get in line? I'm on the Yeah, I'm kind of like push my way up. All right, yeah. It I'm like, I like oh. to get in line too. Martha walks over the line. Benjamin immediately, oh, uh, this is. I When he gets in line, I get in line. I'm like, gonna kill this lady? <laughs> Okay, that's what I start thinking. Wait, you are killing her? No, <laughs> this is in my head. Uh, well, you want me to kill her? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, you get up there, um, you make your way to the front. You don't have to wait very long. Um, the people who she is reaching out to and touching, they appear to be uh, emboldened and, and leave uh, in, in a Horror. joyful manner. <laughs> The, uh, she gets to you and, and she asks, uh, what is it, my daughter? What is it uh, I can do for you? Oh, see. How would I say the, the constitution change? And like, you just tell her that my constitution is well. Yeah, I'll, I'll be as well as before. And I've, I've been affected by this thing. Can you, can you, can you hear it? Uh, she places her, uh, her hand underneath your chin and it's... <coughs> This strange, uh, uh, um, you, you almost can't control this, uh, this overwhelming feeling of, of uh, affection that you have for uh, the woman who is uh, cupping your chin. Um, and when she does that, her eyes kind of widen. And you all, who are watching this, notice uh, Martha, uh, yeah, Martha's uh, gray hair and her... Uh, wrinkled features, they completely go away, and she what? turns, she, she, uh, she her face becomes completely young, uh, she has, uh, 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 and her short she hair is, her what was your color? Illusion. Black. Was it like a black color? Yeah, it was, it was black. It turns into this uh, healthy black, and, uh, the, <laughs> like, her, her skin is, it, it's a healthy young color. And then when she lets go of you, it completely reverts back to how it was before. Ooh, and that's worse. And she, geez, man. she says, we go through the this is something that I will have to study. Do you mind coming to the temple, possibly tomorrow? I, I, I answered yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who are clapping. Yeah, let's go yeah. to the temple! They're all, uh, they're all cheering and uh, shouting and... Um, I'm in line. <laughs> I get in line. I get in line too. Yeah, man. You're this is like the, the healthy version. Yeah, I'm gonna get all super thin. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> uh, um, you don't notice any type of a miraculous change like that happens what? for really anybody else. Um, people do get like uh, blemishes that you have on there, and people are asking for them to be removed. They go away, and uh, they they are slightly. Uh, Fix so that people who are going there to become more attractive actually leave a little bit slightly more attractive by some type of blessing of Sunni. Um, and uh, uh, there, there's no shortage of um, women who are saying that they want to uh, have a blessing of fertility so that they can have a son for their for their husbands, etc. Oh, and so is she? Oh, sorry. Is the girl? With Avenger going up there to get fertility? She no. does well, not. I'm not going to baby track. When Avenger gets in line, uh, she just accompanies him but okay. does not uh, uh, please. So, for uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be going to clear So she's convincing, huh? She, uh, I'll roll something. Do, you know, do I feel, so here's the thing. Yes. Do I, do I, do I, like, is there any reconciliation oh, after? Why? 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 Why?
is there any reconciliation after talking with her and speaking with her? Like, why is she here? It's it, it, it's a gambling den, so it, it's like she can come here and help the people, and maybe. Don't you feel like you're a little bit biased right now? <laughs> 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 so do I? How do I feel about that? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what would you ask her when you get up in line? When you get to her, she asks you, uh, "What is it that's ailing you?" Okay, and she's totally like, "This is a transcendent experience." Yes. Yeah. Not out of body though, right? Right. Figure. <laughs> um. Uh, why are you here? <laughs> There's so many other places you could be and doing good. Is it uh, not proper for uh, those who have been blessed by the gods to? Walk among those who are in need of the blessings. You see, now this is why I'm not religious. It's a question of question. I can't. I, I, I'm not intelligent enough to the wise to answer the questions, but it seems to me a little bit strange. It's far be it for me to tell you how to do uh, the work, but I just wonder. Those who are in need of Sunni's graces, I must be available to them. So what can, I, what can I do for you? <laughs> oh, not that I mean, I just... Is there a way to monetize this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, Player knowledge is not mixing with character knowledge. She, holds, <laughs> she reaches out and, and grabs your hand. Yeah, and, I don't have any idea, um, but I know I am screwed up, a terrible person, and should be fixed. You uh, feel like uh, your... Anything that was happening that as far as... Uh, mental clarity is concerned you uh-huh. feel uh, like your senses are sharper uh-huh. and that uh, you <laughs> you feel more confident in your own skin. Which is great because I'm going to so. need that for Hannah later. But <laughs> uh, I, whenever she tries to pull away I hold on a little bit longer to her hand or whatever and I, uh, like I wanted to fix something all my problems are way they're not surface deep what did she say? I mean, she's, it's love and beauty, and I got. <laughs> and let's be honest. She's the wrong one. All five of us here have way deeper problems. I, didn't, I stepped out of line after she didn't fix her. I was like, there's no. Uh, she was no, smoking did, hot. Did, did it fix the Constitution? Or no. About 30 seconds, it sounded like Oh, it seconds. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Uh, so roll performance check. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, no, so the... Um, it's a different genre. Your <laughs> constitution does get fixed by what she does. Told you she fixed it. Oh, then I'd say... Be more faith. The, even but though I, I, wait, wait, you're... you're just, avoiding my question. I want you to get back well, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah can we can do this. If anything uh, happened to me, she I'm just says, gonna step over Yeah. Here. I would you get him away and bitch in you and your problems. <laughs> I would be more than uh, happy to discuss this further tomorrow if you would like to stop by the temple. They, and then I make like four different religious gestures. And just <laughs> like I do the, uh, uh, the, what's it called, the Tebow kneel. And then at some point, somebody saves me from my awkwardness yeah, and I just I leave. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. still doing it when like the next people are in Yeah, the but I stop and I'm like getting a business card, like uh, an appointment, <laughs> a scheduler. Uh, do I... Uh, she... Uh, <laughs> I, I, bought, I broke her. <laughs> <laughs> she looks back and uh, where those people had disappeared, one uh, has, uh, has... You don't know where they came back in. But yeah. one of those acolytes has come over. Super, uh, super beautiful. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of uh, sucking the guy. Yeah. <laughs> she says, doing the double button. <laughs> if you come by, um, we are open as early as 10 in the morning. The morning. Done. Uh, then we can uh, see you then. I'll be there. All right. So she takes And I make the same kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> she, she laughs. I hold the sword up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is, uh, yeah, so that happens. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, your constitution is fixed, and you wait in line. Yeah. So I ask her, her, I ask her if she feels better, <laughs> and then I go to the line. Um, yes, so it comes to you. 
<laughs> He's sweating. He's like sweating for feet. He's like, I think it's 11. Uh, so, uh, uh, she actually ran out of she asks yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. She asks you what More is that she water. can do for you to, to heal. Uh, I have an is this gonna be? ailment of, of the body from a battle <laughs> that is lingering that I hope that you would Good job. Heal. Got it. Yeah. So she kisses her two fingers and then touches your forehead, and after that, this warm feeling goes over your body, and you feel that that the problem has you become been. your true self. I just I, I just sweat more. Let's, yeah. uh, thanks. <laughs> it's a cool sweat. So it's like immediately, like your body is cooled down, mm. but you're still you feel more confident. It's like a misting system. Mm. We put those in the houses, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. yeah. Yes. Um, so. All of that takes place during this experience. And everyone who has seen the priestess uh, normally walks out. So um, everyone seems to be like it's a kind of like a cycling line to hose in. Does that help with any clarity with vision that i uh, You said it sharpens the mind. Is it. You have this. Does it help me discern if it's. Under, under the influence of Sune, like in the presence of the high priestess, you have kind of a, uh, a pang of uh, longing for, uh, for having uh, children and for finding love. Like, that's kind of a weird side effect of it, but oh, everyone wow. who is in the presence of her kind of has that after effect. This is a conscience you forgot about. Yeah, he's, he just vomits. <laughs> like, like, after you leave probably within 25 feet of her, that kind of diminishes. She changes it to roses, you puke. So oh, okay. you are aware that you had those feelings overcoming you, but now that you are out of her presence, it's not like this, this need that you, that you had. Like, you're not sure if that's something that she's bringing out of you or it's something that she is... Putting upon everybody that's around her. So to confirm, I take a step back and then feel it again. Yeah. And then take a step back and then. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I take a step back and then. It's super un- uncomfortable. It's like Twenty-five for you. feet. It's really, really disconcerting. <laughs> yeah. No, oh. When you leave, you'll be able to tuck that way deeper. Don't yeah. Worry. Yeah. Just so <laughs> dig a new hole. So, so deep, deep you'll never feel it. Well, no. <laughs> not not so. all the. Uh, <laughs> Shroom, whatever. Yeah, the boon, boon shroud. Yes, yeah, what is it that uh, ails you? Uh, <laughs> I got two cross bolt wounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, <laughs> she takes a, a look at us. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, no, you don't have the cross bolts in you still, and no, assuming you still have taken her. Earth Mountain Bash. He was gambling, gambling with them. Um, that's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, so... I still have half HP. <laughs> uh, she, she does uh, cast uh, uh, them. You do see her cast an actual spell for you. Uh-huh. And uh, it cures your wounds. So I have full HP. Um, it would be... Hold on, let me roll here. One uh, hit. You're, we're about to <laughs> yeah. full rest anyways. Oh, yeah. I'm no, we're not. This is going to be like four sessions before we finally get to bed. Oh, this is... <laughs> This is, yeah. this is the same day as that battle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, same same day, day as that battle. Same night. We cover 24 hit points. Well, I guess it was so in the afternoon. Or yeah. Or yeah. So, I don't think he has that many. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because we battled right before we got to the city. So, that's yeah, right. Uh, and then we got the tavern. Yeah. We had to fight in the tavern. Yeah, but a barroom <laughs> brawl. <laughs> it's been a long day then. Huh? Yeah, the, all right, so, uh, yeah, you have all gotten to see the priestess of some name. That was awesome. Galora. And uh, the... Galora, I thought her name is Helarthe. Yeah, Helartha. Helartha. Galora is the guy you told uh, him about. Priestess Helartha. Mm-hmm. Helartha, yes. Where's Galara? You mean no? You wrote Galara. Remember, we were like, you were like, oh, how do you yeah, spell yeah. it? A G or an L? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I wrote that wrong. I, I put that in the wrong spot. There it is. Galara is. Uh, who was that? I wrote. <laughs> the name. <laughs> <laughs> Something the name. hour. Plus, plus one hour. Oh, Galara was the priestess for the show. Yes. Because I wrote down. Her name and went oh, to the Oh, so it's, is it Galora or Halarthe? It's Galora Halarthe. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, first name. 
Before I leave, after she blessed me, I said, I'm sorry for whoever named you. <laughs> that is just unfortunate. It's She's a, like, I chose that name after I yeah, converted yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, it's a little <laughs> of uh, her. You, so you, yeah, so right, right, right. You, yeah, it keeps you humble, right? A name like that will keep you I will up. say, um, if that is something that you're trying to subconsciously like say, uh, you aren't able to actually voice any yeah, words that are like, negative about her when you're in her presence. <laughs> it's like... Oh, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spell zone. Hey, same uh, thing. Uh, so, 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 do you it's think... It's a 25-foot spell zone. <laughs> She's attacking everybody. Do you yeah, think that for, they... Uh, it's beneficial, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you think that uh, they look so perfect physically because of, <laughs> like, magic? Uh, I don't know. I, can I make that kind of arcana check? Like, you certainly can try it. Genetics. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, they're part of they're part of you gen- uh, <laughs> eugenics. Eugenics. <laughs> that <laughs> we need to mark it. Uh, all right. Let's see if they're using any illusion magic. Nine plus six, fifteen. There's no, excuse me. Six plus five is eleven. There isn't any illusory magic. Damn. Um, they just look good. They we should become pr- like priests. Of- like you're not sure exactly what the tenets of Sune are. Awesome. Possibly. <laughs> so. In order to become any type of cleric or worshiper, like on that level, you need to already have some type of you already perfection. Pretty. Like, oh. it's a sorority <laughs> lawlessness. It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's, it's that. Yeah, well, I'm, there are I'm good not. looking guys who are doing as well. So. Yeah, but so. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next to one of the good looking guys, I'm like, damn, damn really? your teeth are ugly. <laughs> Like, I know you're yeah, ugly, you're back to the but <laughs> they are. It is. How many sodas did you drink? <laughs> they look like Carrick, right? In League of Legends. Yeah. They are we look trying to rework? Some of them have the dark hair, like Tarek, yeah. No, it's just like a perfect body. The gems are truly outrageous. <laughs> they are truly, truly, truly. So, uh, okay, that was it, yeah. So, yes. That is all. Oh man, I was gonna. I was gonna tell you how pretty you are, <laughs> talented. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. yes. Actually, I need to take one. It's actually big. Before you can just, oh, I so wouldn't even pay oh, for this. No, thanks. <laughs> so uh, you have. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, Let's all. Pick out cookies for you tonight, and he picked out chocolate chips. Here are the best cookies. High five. They're great. Um, so yeah, you have uh, thank you seen thank you the show, the Sune show. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Gambled. Uh, we have uh, uh, we won, and I mean we a vendor won. Yeah, this is why you give a vendor more truck. <laughs> that way he spends more gold. He cleaned up, man. <laughs> Should have oh, been. I, so how much gold did you start with? So we're like you easily double what you had, right? No, <laughs> you have more than that. Yeah, I I took everything from the previous game. How much was it? It was like almost 40,000. <laughs> why aren't we staying in the penthouse, man? Wait, At some point, me and bad, Martha, huh? me and Martha constantly I don't know, are I like, just... how rich do you think a vendor really is? I mean, this <laughs> yeah. guy, I, I, black card in it. I mean, he is. I'm just cautious. That's it. <laughs> I so... my <laughs> I've only got 80 because I'm holding the party's purse. And I spent 10 of it for info, for drugs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you spent 10 of it to try and get uh, yeah. So, <laughs> on your way out, you notice a gentleman standing uh, near the exit of the room. Uh, he is a man with a, uh, a dark brown beard. Uh, he's probably in his 30th year. Um, and he is wearing all red robes. He's Roll standing the sign in the back, and he has... He is talking with a couple of people who are there towards the back. Uh, one of them is uh, one of the girls who is part of Sune's uh, entourage. And um, there's another man who's with him who's also talking to her. And that is what you see while you're exiting. What do your characters do? What's up, bro? The guy that, uh... <laughs> the vendor approaches. What's up, bro? I draw a sword. <laughs> <laughs> the man turns to you. Oh. 
I'm sorry, I don't uh, know if I have... <laughs> Russian, this is Russian uh, accent! What is it? I don't know if I've met you before. Oh, uh, please introduce myself. Deception um, check. Say you've met him before. Nah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I heard, uh, I'm a vendor, I've heard many great stories about your uh, wizarding ability. <laughs> now I know you lie. Alright, hold on. Okay, uh, I, I see you tomorrow uh, very well. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> if you've heard stories of me, they're not good, I tell you that right now, it's no problem. No, I was, I was a little like a repair, um, get my, uh, spell book prepared by you. Oh, we're oh, looking stuff. for spells, well, I will say we have, uh, I have time tomorrow if you're available. That's uh, okay. You can stop by my shop, I will show you. Any type of spells looks like you have arcane training yourself. Yes. Well, this will help. This will help. How long you been studying? Uh, roughly four years or so. Four years. Okay. Is well, that, yeah. that never really done that this was, is good. This is very good. You go to college probably. Go to yes, I've been. I've attended the Watoon Wizard College. Oh yes, <laughs> Watoon very nice. They don't teach everything you need to uh, get by in the world, but uh, it's okay. They teach you, you know basics. Where the guy is. Right. Uh, He's in the mind. Yes, you stop by tomorrow. So I will to talk to you then. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> where, where can I find you, by the way? Where's your uh, place located? Oh, so you head up north three blocks from Manor. Uh, they have a corner there. They sell best bread. In the bakery, you'll see they have cheese bread, they have cherry bread, they have corn bread, oh, they have banana bread. You said I know, the, I know. the bread's better than yours. <laughs> they have the best it. bread in all of our It's so, Russia, though, so you don't eat black bread, doesn't matter. You see, nice. real bread. You see there, you hit right, <laughs> you go two blocks. Yeah. After you go two blocks, you will see man selling fish. Man when you see man selling fish, he will be singing song. That is when you know you are close. You go north one more block, and you find my shop. But he's all fast. He's like, um, I'll just plug in GPS. <laughs> <laughs> my shop, you can't miss. Say roll a red on outside. Okay, perfect. Um, it has a red door. <laughs> I'm very excited to meet you, a vendor, and your uh, your uh, your Andre. friends. Yes. Yes, thank you. Always and good to have cell swords with uh, spellcasters. Sure thing. Um, if you guys want to. Yes, ask questions, uh, Martha wants to figure out how she knows how we can get Martha in touch with. Martha said we don't need to talk to him. You need to get in touch. He's the only one who oh. knows how to get in touch with Ramen. That's or he can send a wrong. spell, a sending message, or sending. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Send, yes, yes. 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 Um, with heart. Two men thieves can. This you is know, your no, chance no, no, no. to use the thieves can. <laughs> what, what I call it's a fun. sister. Would you call what? what? what I call her aunt instead of uncle. Who? Hannah? Hannah? <laughs> uh, no, no, but because it's. I forget it's what an uncle is. Yeah. A contact? Uh, I think you still. I don't know. A sister? Like, yeah, whatever. Try it. He'll, he'll know. Benji will respond. He's good in person. We're okay. not real. Yeah. We're not real drug dealers. Okay, so. <laughs> it's like Breaking Bad. So. Hey. We don't we don't do like the sex thing, but we are for real drug dealers in this <laughs> game. That's cool, right? In your house? Yes. Okay, good. You guys can snore all you want. Just no coffee. <laughs> no sex. that. Cool. Your bed. Yep. So I am a fellow sister. Nice to meet you, sister. I'm a fellow sister. I met Aunt Hannah. Told you. Oh, you don't yeah. tell her the name. Little pretty Hannah, no. Yes. Okay, maybe you, do, maybe you do. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'll shut up. Yes, Sorry. Sir. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so. And these are your friends, then? Yes. They were they're, they're with me. We're trying to find, to reach, to use your pearl and reach. No. He, he is the pearl. He is the pearl, yeah. He is the pearl. To re reach out to um, our uncle. The dwarf who's in the the, the mines. Right? Oh yes, kid uncle, very nice. Yes. He has a big beard. Yes. So we, we yeah. kid uncle with a short short uncle. I show him my tattoo of kid uncle. 
It's a it's a it's a rock, rock band. band. Yeah. He's a rock <laughs> band. Rock. Kid Uncle. Um, Kid Uncle, we haven't got contact in a couple of 20, 20 days. We see if he's still. Oh, yes, I not see Kid Uncle yeah. for quite time, but it is okay because he is dwarf. They walk around. They do little dwarf things. <laughs> I tell you what, I give you idea. If you go, you wouldn't look so suspicious if you didn't look over your He's shoulder all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get horrible direction. I, I know. Give, uh, I give you. I give you idea. So to the pond. There, uh, there is the building. Fish. There is building near dwarven settlement. Uh, this building is only one on the western side, near the wall on mm. south. Uh, if you find it, there will be a little inscription in the door. You need to say the magic word for the day in order to get in. I give you cipher so that you can determine and I give you codex so that you can find out what the magic word is for the day. That sounds like a plan. Sound good? I arranged for uh, our little kid uncle to try and meet you there uh, tomorrow, let's say... I don't know, do this have times? This does not have times. Just make up something. Let's say Hour of Mask. You find Hour of Mask and you go inside and I will have the door coded and you will have little kid uncle. This was easy. It's taken five sessions. <laughs> we, we've te- in game. We've, it's only been yeah six days. So yeah. and we've been high half of it. He hands you a little t- spiral disc with two uh, discs on it that rotate. And this is gonna be just like a menu, though. Uh, it gives you two. <laughs> <laughs> gives you two symbols for you for the following evening, so you can determine what. Word uh, I thought we weren't supposed to talk about that kind of stuff in your house. <laughs> <laughs> show her, show your wife. That is foul. <laughs> I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody? You need not worry about it. I give you symbol. You find out. Uh huh. We have word tomorrow, and uh, we will get. To Why don't possibly. you just tell us the word? You know what would be really cool right because now? Because it like, always is changing. Because it would it would be really cool if like as we're talking, we like see uh, Riven's body just fall through the window. <laughs> but like we just keep talking, but in the background it's like oh, man. <laughs> she's all sitting <laughs> on Reaper and, and we just keep this just Imagine <laughs> imagine if if uh, uh Okay. <laughs> Amir's character actually got up and started hunting things. Oh, yeah. Things yeah. would have been very good. Uh, so okay. we will pick up there. Hour of Mask. Done. Um, cool. After you. speaking with Rollo the Red next week on Dungeons and, and Dragons. Dragons.